Hey, what's the deal, YouTube? We're back with the weekly Big Gamer Small Talk podcast. Uh, sorry about the late, but um, I was running around like a chicken with my head turned off. Cut off. I was trying to track down that new Xbox One controller, and they were sold out everywhere. You know, what I mean, word to the word to the wise. When that store says they have one on their SKU, that means there's nothing left. So I went to Target, <laughs> Best Buy. GameStop, nobody had the new con. What's it called? The con what? Convert Forces Special Edition with the 35 millimeter jack. I was hunting that out. That was my gift to myself for Father's Day. Couldn't find it anywhere. So he was gonna be like, "Hey, next gen, I got you a present. Hey, thanks, next gen. It's here you go. A new a new Xbox One controller. <laughs> hey, hey, just yeah, what I wanted. Hey, yeah, How'd hey, you know? Crap. Listen, you know what I just thought about. <laughs> hey, little buddy, you think I forgot about that fucking Christmas video you did? <laughs> 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 yeah, that Christmas video was classic. Hey, crap, you gotta upload that to your channel, man. I swear to God, that's a, people don't think you have a sense of humor when you like that. Let me, let me yeah. do this one here. That, that, that oh, was, man, I think, I think people know I have a sense of humor, man. Like I just, that, crap. No, yeah, I mean, like that that. Was, <laughs> the funny thing was, was that wasn't really malicious, though. It was just like funny, you know what I mean? No, like, that like, shit was, that would hurt somebody. Yeah. Well, well, you abuse as a child, scared to smile, they called you ugly. <laughs> that, 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 that's one of the lines of that right there. Like, that was. Harsh, <laughs> and it was all fact. Nothing, nothing fabricated either. You know what I mean? Like that. Yeah, was, I mean that. That's what's the funny part about it, right? Yeah, I, 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 crap. Like I said, you shocked the hell. I didn't think you had it in you. Like you yeah. shocked the hell out of me. Hell but, yeah! Shit, you need to. I swear, you need to upload that on your channel. That you call, that's what you call YouTube slapping the shit out somebody. Like, <laughs> your subscribers don't, don't know, they didn't know, know about that video, and you know what I mean. Don't think you got it in you. That's really showing a uh, how you say showing the softest side of Sears. Well, well, okay. You know what the funny part is? Like, I had created that channel. It's called BGST Raw. Yeah, we were actually I know. gonna we were actually gonna use that to like I know some of that stuff. That, to know, keep it, yeah, but that was that you gotta you listen. I'm gonna tell you, you gotta put that on your channel. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, this guy, you know, you know what? You know, then people are gonna cause problems. Oh shit, crap, game with this? No, fuck it. This, don't they go on? They gonna talk about us regardless. But you gotta put that on your channel, crap. That's hilarious. Uh, you still I'll take that video. Yeah, I still got it. Yeah, do me a favor, please. I can add that to my favorites. That's hilarious, man. Uh, anyway, it's, still, so it's still up on that channel too, though. Like it's still. Up I know, but you know, you gotta yeah. get more traffic on your channel, so no one's right. No, no one's gonna find it. What the fuck is this? But yeah. everybody would know it's yours. So you gotta up. You gotta, you gotta do me a favor. That's what I want for followers. They can crap. Please that's what I need from you, crap. So anyway, listen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, last year, I have not been, you know, following us for the last couple of days. Uh, big game of small talk. We, 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 we're doing something I'm very, very, very proud of. We finally have our own T-shirts, cups, coffee mugs, iPad cases, you know, book bags. Uh, just a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? We're going to leave a link uh, down below in the description. Um, and like I said, um, you know, like I said, you know, Crap Gamer has him. This infamous him pissing on the PlayStation 4. Showstopper got him with the pony in the head lock. Mooch, you got me, bang, bang. And then, like I said, you know, you have your, you know, your maybe your favorite members of the group. We're still adding more. We still got a good Tim Dog and Mooch. Or, we can, or you can buy the Big Gamer Small Talk podcast itself. You know, there are t shirts. They're hoodies, sweatshirts, a little bit of everything. Like I said, we all trying to go to E3 next year. Uh, so like I said, just taking our brand to the next level. Like I said, we have, whatever you buy, whether it's coffee cup, we appreciate the love and the support. And, um, and how you guys are always asking to be a part of the show. You know what I mean? Not saying that we're any type of celebrities or anything like that. But you buy a shirt, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, you know, wrap it up. We get a, we get a receipt every time someone buys a shirt, and maybe bring one or two of you guys on the show for a second to sit down, or even maybe you guys could maybe play a favorite game with us and sit down and pop shit. Well, just to say a way of saying thank you. Not saying that we're some rock stars or anything like that, but if you want to, you know, game out with us, bug out with us behind the scenes or whatever like that, you know, all you have yeah, just to support our chain, you know, support our brand, uh, get a T-shirt. If you if you look to the right, you're gonna when you click on the link, it's gonna show you a T-shirt. But if you click to the right of that, it's gonna see clothing style. And from that, you can pick hoodies, sweatshirts, 
Um, long, it, it's really, uh, honestly, it's really, and I'm a pretty fashionable guy, whether you believe me or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's stuff that you can even wear outside in the public. You know what I mean? It's not cheesy or anything. You, like you that. were wearing what looked like a woolly mammoth outfit before we went on the air, though. I'm yeah, not yeah. Gonna yeah. Be <laughs> in the, in the, in the, yeah, you said woolly mammoth. <laughs> this dude was saber too. Yeah, I was looking like, I, you know, you know, I was looking like Paul Funyan, I was looking like Paul Funyan, man. He just was saber. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, don't leave my time alone, man. Don't leave my time alone, X man. man. That boy was saber too. Oh, oh, yeah. oh man, one hundred percent, man. But anyway, we're gonna leave a link down below. Like I said, for you guys to check. I can put the link in now while we're talking. I'm sorry for like I said, for being late. It's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Yeah. Yeah, happy Father's Day, everybody. And, happy and, father's uh, trying to sure. you know get. Hey, a, turn my mic oh, down next year. You don't sound loud though, bro. And, and I, just, but it outputs louder than than you guys. It, uh, I don't. I don't care. He sound loud to you guys? No, no he right sounded. He sounds fine. You sound That's inside good. here though, but outside to where they they listening to it on YouTube. Oh, okay. You I'm loud. They're like showstoppers loud. Pony okay. loud. But guess what? Ne no next gen 480i fix this mic. 480i. Yeah, I gotta admit, listening to the playbacks is it is it is it bad now? Like before, when you got to the next gen parts, I was like, God damn, look and, at that echo. You know, and I'm always dropping that knowledge. Always dropping that knowledge. Yeah, Listen but anyway, there's a lot to talk about. Damn, we got 75 people in here already. That was quick. Man, they were they were God. chomping at the bit, dude. They were. But listen, before we start today's video, for you guys to just, just join again, we ask you, please, go buy and support us. We're not eBay. We're not asking you for money. We are it actually, it, yeah, it actually helps us to become a better show and to do things like for the community. You know, or whatever like the case may be. People say that we're, so. no, we're not eBay. We're, we're selling something. I, how do you get yeah. selling something? I, I'm not asking you guys. Hey, we're not, yeah, we're not pulling a Sony here. We're not saying, hey... Uh, <laughs> You yeah, know, we're not, yeah. we're not going, hey, support it's us. It's in your hands. It's in your hands. Your we hands. that bitch like, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your hands. I'm not just a president. I'm also a client. I got the kids <laughs> and the wife dressed up in BGST yeah, clothing. We, we like, oh, oh hell yeah, like dude. Said, so like I said, anyway, anywho, like I said, I'm about to put the link in. The, I didn't get a chance. I'm about to put the link in it now. But um, what do you guys want to cover first? There's a lot to talk well, about. Well, okay, let's talk about a little bit of this resolution stuff, right? Like this Metal Gear okay. Solid Five article yeah. that popped up and said that uh, Metal Gear Solid Five and PES Soccer is going to be 1080p 60 frames per second on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Uh, but that's not the only interesting news. Also, Fallout 4 is going to be 1080p 30 frames per second. Open world game? Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be 1080p 30 frames per second on everything, even PC. They're locking at 30 frames per second. PC is going to be 32? 30 frames per second. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're, they're not happy. But they're already talking. I know they're, they're not. I know yeah, they're not. They're, they're like, we're just going to mod it and hack it and stuff. That's one of the reasons I hate PC gaming. We're just going to hack it and mod it. They're going to bootleg that shit anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But, uh, but no, but, um, but, but damn, damn. So, but let's, let's, let's get to the Metal Gear. What's going on with the Metal Gear? Like, I know before they had problems with the quote unquote uh, Fox engine, if I'm not mistaken, right? Well, yeah, it was also early on in the Xbox One's life. Um, remember, like, it was, that was early on, and I even called that because I said, eh, some of these early games are probably going to be 720p or so, but then it was kind of a slap in the face when you seen that the Xbox 360 version was also 720p. And uh, the only difference between yeah, two so versions. You, it, 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 so wait, so you mean to tell me the the uh, what's that? What was the name of the game? Uh, Phantom Pain. Not Phantom Pain. The name of the, the demo. Yeah, that's Phantom Pain. That's Phantom Pain. The, the Phantom Pain. The demo name was yeah. Phantom Pain. That's yeah. cool. The game Ground Zero. Ground oh, Zero. Oh, Ground Zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ground Zero. Well, okay. Might be. Okay. Hey, look, so you mean to tell me Ground Zero was the same resolution as the 360 version? Yeah, now, on here, Xbox here's, One. here's what he meant to say, Z. What he meant to say was they were lazy fucks and they didn't put any effort into the Xbox One demo is what he meant to say because this is bullshit. It's all bullshit, to be honest with you. There's no way they could have... I understand maybe being 900p, but the 720p was a slap in the face. That's what it was. And I, I, I was actually shocked. I, I'm still shocked. I'm looking... I'm Right now, I'm on the YouTube page looking at the title we put up for this show... And I'm still shocked that Metal Gear Solid is going to be 1080p, 60 frames per second on the Xbox One. Because, I, I, I mean, is it the, it's got to be the fact that the um, the new, uh, what is it there? The SDKs. New, uh, SDKs that came out. I, I mean, but what, what in God's green earth? I, maybe they finally see that there's going to be some sort of a change into the guards. I think that you're going to see 
after this year, the rest, I said, I, and I was wrong earlier, so you got to call a spade a spade, right? I mean, I, was, I thought we were going to win straight out. We lost May. But, but no, but on, no, we didn't really lose May, but 13,000, bro. Was that what it came down to? 13,000. Oh, that's and that's giving right. take because, like I said, that doesn't count. Mom and pops, you know, I mean, that's, that's, that's down 13,000. You know, 13,000. Well, but you got to realize when, you know, America. the media, they centralize, they should, it, and, like, the king, the, the PS4 is a back king. Like, they won about 80 grand, 80,000 counts. It was 13,000. Yeah. Units, you know what I mean? So right, it right. wasn't like you know the PS, the Xbox One got stomped out or something like that. It was only thirteen thousand units, literally thirteen. Do you guys think? Do you guys think that we're gonna see a huge like sales spike for Xbox oh, One? Oh yeah, for well, sure. I was, I was and listen, not not for nothing with you guys. I was in GameSpot. I'm sorry, GameSpot. I was in GameStop, um, and because um, I'm trying to you know do my gaming room with posters. So like I used to, so I was asked to stop by. You guys got any old posts and stuff? And there were literally six people in line. One guy was undecided, trading in their PS4s. And I, and he's like, no, you can't do that in here next gen. I, I was trying to fucking, you know, take, I should have just fucking, I didn't want to go. I wanted to interview him. He said, no, you can't do that in here. You know what I mean? I was like, all right, fuck, I don't want to make him lose their job or anything like that. But right, right, right. literally, they were trading in their PS4s. Uh, because of the backwards compatibility, in you know what I mean, on the Xbox One, and then because of they like what Microsoft showed at E3, the two of it was epic, you know what I mean? He's like, man, fuck if it's coming. So you know, one girl was like, well, it's a multi I said, you know, okay, I mean, it's coming to PC, but he said, I'm not gonna sit by and wait to see if it comes and hope that it comes to the PlayStation 4. I'm not yeah. gonna do that, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know, there's he said, there's my Sony showed me this little this guy was saying, I've been waiting and waiting. He keep talking about this greatness of wait. Yeah, this white girl face was red as hell. He was breaking it down. I'm tired. Of, you know, with you know the resolution thing. I'm not. You know, I listen. We all. He said no one. Like he it was crazy. He was crazy. I didn't even know the guy knew me. He said next year. I'm not just saying it because you're here. He said, oh, I felt like a fucking rock star. But he like he said, you're right. No one has a 900p TV. You understand what I'm saying? It's okay yeah. when games are 900p for the Xbox for the PlayStation 4. But when they're 900p for the for the Xbox One. It's like someone spitting someone's coffee and starting. Oh yeah, it's that, it's that whole thing where they have the low expectations for, or you know what I'm saying for the PS4. High expectations for, yeah. expectation for the Xbox One, but low expectations for the PlayStation 4. Exactly. So, okay, long as it's, as long as it's at a higher resolution than the Xbox. Yeah, One, 1080p. Okay. 1080p doesn't matter just as as long as it has more P's than the than right. what the competition. But you know what? But guess what? But guess what? You want to, like I said before, you can quote your you can quote your boy on this. Is this something you guys know? I've been saying for. Don't be surprised. Not even surprised. This generation right now. Let's look at um, November of 2013. The Xbox One is the only console that's continuously to evolve. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, yeah. this is something that I've been saying. Like, go back. I, I think it's funny when people put my older videos up and shit. I'm like, damn, I gained a lot of weight. And I get to look at <laughs> shit. But my message and shit hasn't changed. You know what I mean? I've been saying, they're like, yo, they're like, yo, it's, it, that's when you know you really have fans. They were like, Zaya, you were right. And I don't know what the hell they talk. I go back and I watch the video. Like, you like, you, you, you were right. You know, they're like, I said, don't be surprised. Listen, let me say it again. That, you know, when it comes out that the. There are going to be some games 1080p, 60 frames a second on the Xbox One, and only 10 locked, and only 1080p, 30. Struggling to get to 30 on the PlayStation 4. I'm telling you this right now, and I got that from a, a quote unquote a developer. You know what I mean? The, this look, if you don't, and if you still think that the Xbox One is an anemic console, like come on, man. You know what I mean? When you had Eurogamer come out and said that the Xbox One is much more powerful than they thought. You know what I mean? Microsoft never said what GPU was in the system. Now I'm not saying I'm not gonna go Mr. Media X shout out to that dude. I'm problem with it. I'm not gonna say it has two turbine twin engines, twin turbo jets engines in it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But we you're not utilizing everything that's in the Xbox One. They're not. We still have tile resources. Like I said, you know what's gonna again, and I got this per from a developer, the big thing is gonna be with this whole direct X12 is the PIX tools. That's a lot of reason why the Xbox One games don't hit 1080p or not the way they miss is because of the eSLAM. Either it's just two ways, three, three ways you can use it: the the efficient way, the bad way, and the so-so way. You know what I mean? And but with the Pix tool, it shows developer. It actually don't even shows them. It tells them or picks the best way to use the eSLAM for them. So they don't have any extra coding, anything else to do. You know what I mean? 
whatsoever. You know what I mean? And also, too, like another big thing is that the Xbox One GPU can handle multiple commands. It can read and write at the same time. You know what I mean? It can handle dual commands. You know what I mean? And this is, again, I'm not going to get all technical talk about it. With the Rec X12, let's know about what we know. You understand what I'm saying? Is that before with the Rec X11, I mean, how many cores you got? Is one core talk to the GPU and the CPU? But with the the Rec X12, everything can com- converge with the GPU simultaneously. You don't have to wait in line. You understand what I'm saying? So that's going to fill so many resources. Like we're just now starting to scratch the surface on what these consoles can do. That's why I tell you guys, last generation has to die. As beautiful as Tomb Raider was, it still has been made around five, five, a made around to fit five twelve, five twelve megabits of RAM. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to be the same game. It's just that the Xbox One version, of course, is going to be more shinier, more prettier. You understand what I'm saying? Imagine they can only they can just focus on five gigabytes of RAM and not worry about that five twelve over there. You know, I know. See, you know what I was thinking. About that. I want to go back to what you were just talking about when you were in GameStop, and and the dust is settled now. Now, now the the hype train has come in and out of the station. We can all sit back and take a look. And I think that's what you saw when you saw three, four people return their PS4s, and a couple people on Twitter are hitting me up that are listening to us saying that they've seen their friends either turning their PS4 in or immediately running out to buy an Xbox One. So what I was gonna say was we all haven't gotten together like this since um, you know the reviews after Son, uh, Sony's. And and here's the deal. Now that we look at everything. We actually, we actually can sit here and know that The Last Guardian is... Look, if someone wants... I'm not a gambling man, but I'll put a clean 100 down. That's not coming out next year. Not so a chance. We got, we got no com- confirmation even at the show, and after the show, we got nothing. They didn't even talk about that horizon. They, did, they, 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 said, they said that... Um, they said, uh, what the hell, that The Last Guardian most likely isn't going to uh, make right. it. In 2016, so that's what. Yeah, and he gave. Uh, I, I say 2018 the earliest. Eight hey, crap. Right. Listen, Smooch, not to cut you up again. That's the same. Oh, that's the same demo. That it's the same changed. demo from nine They just finished ago. it. They just completed it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yo, know, and I'm listen. This is just listen. We're talking about Sony here. That's the same. Is it? Look, look, why do you think it doesn't look? If anyone's and, I'm, and listen, I give credit where credit is due. Sony first-party games, they're, 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 they're pretty. They're, whether they're fun or not, whether you're, you're, they're pretty. Pretty games. You know, Infamous Second Son, very pretty game. I think it wasn't fun, but it was pretty. You know what I mean? Does that game really look like a PS4 game built from the ground up? we got to call a spade a spade here. No, that's the same goddamn tech demo, you know what I mean, with, you know, uh, you know, with slightly, you know, better textures and, you know, and, 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 and poly, you know, this is the same fucking, it's the same demo, same goddamn game. Oi! 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 What the fuck is that? A German? They said a German attack dog? What the fuck is that? A possum? Oi. They said so many people were excited about seeing this. So, so you told me after nine years? You guys remember when we were kids and at the end of Back to the Future? I'm not talking about what you think about now. When we were all younger and you watched Back to the Future and at the end it said to be continued and you're sitting in the theater like, this, they do that shit? They just put to me the kids. You've been waiting nine years to see this thing, and all you saw after nine years was the end of the clip you saw. Like that's crazy. <laughs> and they're like, yo, people were like slow clapping. Yeah. <laughs> people were on like, top of each other. Yo, you know, yo, you saw those videos. Yo, right back they, they they game, when, I looked when, like they had the gameplay mechanics of Knack. I bullshit yo, you, you remember, not. You remember in the '80s when Michael Jackson went and toured in Asia and people would be fainting? Yeah. That's what happened when they showed that. Like, people were like, oh, no, someone was dabbing somebody's head with a white cloth. Oh, <laughs> shit. They were like, get up. Get up. You like, said me, Chinese. No, man, people were just. Yeah, I want to make your <laughs> people in your coke. Like, what the fuck was that? It's in your hands. It's in your hands. Everywhere no. I go, people start <laughs> you were like, You were like, man, no. nobody knows who the hell you are. But now, I'm sorry, crap. What happened? I mean, um, what happened, bro? Talk to me. No, I'm just saying, man. Like, so, so that whole thing went down like that. You've got Horizon that didn't have a date on it when they showed the show, the clip. And it wasn't. Said, a, it wasn't a live demo either. Which, no, you know. no. It's just a clip. Something. It was something they generated on the yeah. PC, and you could tell they completely fabricated when the um, protagonist got hit. Like that was oh, just fake. It's called and murder, hit, it's rolled murder. over. You know what I mean? Got every single YouTuber right now that's a Sony fan. They're like, my God, what a show! My God, they got they, they're biting that knuckle, they're biting their knuckle in their hand. Like that was that was amazing. I'm like, what are you showing? What did you show us? What did you give us? And then they went on to that dreams, 
whatever that oh was, it's just God. trash. Like, that's trash. So I guess what I'm, where I'm going with all this is that the reason you're seeing Xbox I forgot about that shit. coming oh out of the woodwork again is everyone sat there that was a realistic person, not like the media or some of these Californians that are crazy over there that are just delusional. That are like you know they were like wow we don't we're not getting nothing to 2018 2017 there's nothing coming and what Microsoft did and don't get me wrong I'm not gonna beat a dead horse here show had a very good point but after the dust has settled Microsoft took an hour and a half and showed us seven exclusives we're playing this year and in six weeks we're about to watch seven exclusives we're playing next year like back to back shit. And if and I'm a Sony, we don't know about there's nothing. There's and nothing. Stuff, there. stuff we don't know about. Yeah. We, yeah, all, and we shit always don't know. at Gamescom get a get a, a surprise or something that we don't know about. Got to be something. No, I, mean, I, mean, I still think Mass Effect. Mass Effect. I still think Mass Effect's coming at, at maybe time, whatever it is, or just the PC and Xbox. I think that's coming just Xbox One. It's got to be. You got some. Any word on that? I don't know. I, mean, no, I, don't, I think I don't think they're gonna. I don't think that's they're gonna. Nothing that big. Yeah. big. Nothing that big. No, I don't that's think. huge. No, that's no. huge. That's huge. Now, let me ask you what do you think is bigger? Because bigger? I'm not going to lie. Star Wars Battlefront has me psyched right now. You yeah. know, what do you think it's better, bigger? Uh, Mass Effect 4 or Star Wars Battlefront? Um, man, you know, that, that's that's tough. We ain't, seen, we ain't seen Mass Effect 4 yet. But we yeah. know Mass Effect, though. We know Mass Effect. We know that bitch will be at work hard. Well, it's the thing hard was... because... You you still even though you you know you know a game they can change a lot of stuff in the next. Seven. I'm gonna say Mass Effect just because that has a single player element to it and Battlefront doesn't. But that Battlefront look good. even though we know it's running on PC. Nice. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, let, let me tell you something. The way the industry goes, and I heard this per from a developer that when you when you see it on E3, they're gonna give you the previous version. Of course, running on a PC. Yeah. I don't care if you see the prompts for the buttons for a PlayStation Four controller or whatever. It's still running on the piece. It's called a vertical splice. You know, they really doll up and detail that part that you're looking at. You know what I mean? But when you get the thing, not you know, when you get the finished product, not saying it may not be a, a, a great game graphically, it's not going to be right. nowhere to it. It's not going to be, you know, nowhere. But, you know, you hear this shit now, they're saying, no, they, uh, what's that shit? Uncharted didn't crash, the controller died. So. My yeah. controller died, so I'm gonna hit the Yo, reset button. We've all had our controller die during the game. Did you reset your Xbox? That's what I said. I gotta reset the game because my controller died. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? No, man. He's sitting there frozen, locked up. The That's crowd. Because is Sony, Sony is they don't the know game. how games are made. They make the game. Once they make and complete the game, then they go back within the game and look for the bugs and this and that game was a way off. You know They're the I mean? king of bullshit. That's why they are the king of excuses. Crap I, hey, 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 you don't think I'm? You don't think I'm? I'm being truthful. Here we go. What, what are they the king of bullshit on? Uh, did you guys hear? You guys know about that PlayStation TV thing, right? It's kind of like a, uh, you know, like a. I, I really don't know what the fuck it is. Please elaborate. What is PlayStation? Okay, TV? PlayStation TV is their brilliant idea. That lets you, I guess, play like Vita games or download certain games or whatever, and it comes with well, a controller. Play your Vita games on your TV. Yeah, but also it works with like Netflix and all that shit. You know what I mean? The same. I never that. Yeah, I mean, and that's what it is. And their whole thing for the reason why it failed is that um, they're saying that people don't. They, they're having a hard time explaining what it is to consumers. But to yeah, me, yeah, it's I, like, I had no idea what it was. To be yeah, but with you. but to me, it's like Jesus Christ. You know, it's like it, that's what it is. It's basically like a Roku player, or a set top box that lets you do uh, Netflix and Hulu and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? It's like it's and, and the thing's so cheap. It's like you can get it for like thirty bucks. You know, it's like they they have so many excuses and they get away with it. Like, look at wait, Yoshida just come out and said they're absolutely done making first party exclusives for the Vita. Uh huh. Completely done. What other company gets away with that? They yeah. have this basically. What was this like a three hundred dollar handheld? Yeah, they they spent three hundred dollars on that. Boy, they gonna be sick. Yeah, and then yeah, and they collab the the with the PS4. Yeah, yeah. And and not only that, but That's check crazy. this out, right? Nobody's buying the Vita. Why? Because the Vita doesn't get any games. But guess what? The Vita has verbatim basically the same games as the PS4. But idiots buy the PS4. Do you not see? Look at the exclusives on the Vita, and look at the ones on the PS4. Let me people, are, honestly, people are smart enough not to buy the the Vita. Though. I, I listen, I mean, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just think that Sony does not have the market share for a handheld. It's an expensive, it's an expensive piece of technology, um, much better than the 3DS. The 3DS has a better library, of course, 
But, you know, I mean, Sony marketed their handheld towards adults. It's not adults that are really on the back of the bus, crap, still playing video. They're kids. You know what I mean? Look, I bought a Vita day when I, I thought it was kick ass. I like the fighters. But the problem with the Vita, I'm going to be honest, the, the, one of the main issues with the Vita is that she made it exactly like the PlayStation 4 controller. Same buttons. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Two top buttons, you know what I mean? You know, you know that touch shit. You could have still had that cool, but it should have had two It should have had two triggers, two two bumpers, you know what I mean? It made it exactly like the, um, quote, unquote, like their controller. You know what I mean? So it would, you know, so games, you know, be, a lot of, it wouldn't be in this quirky, you know what I mean, whether it be mad or, you know, M- NBA 2K has never released a basket because I don't bought that, you know, played it online or whatever the case may be. What the basketball for? But I think that was one of the issues with the hand. But they, Sony, this will be their last handheld. Also, they don't have the market share for a handheld. You understand what I'm saying? You know, they push this technology, technology, and it's kids who sit down and play handhelds. They don't. You know, you understand what I'm saying? It's not I'm not saying you don't have some adults that play handhelds. I, you know, I mean, only reason I still have my Vita because my son had mine when I that when I had the fire. But I mean, he came back and took it again. But, you know, they do have a lot of little uh, Android games for it, if that's what you're into. You know what I mean? But, you know, I, I think it's sad that they even, you know, I don't think they still make Madden for the thing anymore. It's just that bad, you know? Yeah, I mean, when, you, <laughs> when the Wii U outsells you, you got, you got problems. So, oh, I think they was going, oh, so Wii U was out, I think they was going back and forth, like, you know what I mean, like, that. Oh, I'm sure they it's were, but I mean. It's not a piece of hardware, you think Yeah, about that's it, the though. thing is, it is, it is as good hardware, but. When you don't have, you know, they didn't need to have like touch things on the back and like yeah, even all that they needed, a, they, needed a, they needed another trigger. The, they would to still do the touch screen for certain games like Tearaway or Kamari Roll Around. Fine. Tearaway, man, don't be hating on that. That's the big exclusive this year for the PS4. Well, you know what the fuck I'm talking. We're going to call a spade a spade here. You know what I mean? Um, you know, fine, but they needed another trigger. But yeah, they they killing support, but not making them money. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry, just say this last thing. And I'm, I'm, I know I'm kind of long, long okay. here, but I'm going to say this. I think most, not not ponies, you know, not extremists, I think most Sony fans now are starting to see literally that the Sony of the old is no more. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? That, that's, what, that's exactly what's going on, Z, to be honest with you. Because even worry. Who recently has made a change? He said. He said. He said. I have to come to terms with this. Isn't the Sony old? This is the new Sony, and the new Sony is not. It's got nothing to do with all those like traditional games and, and titles that you loved as a kid. It's over. All they're trying to do, and like I said, all they're doing is they're copying. They somehow stole uh, Don Mattress's uh, old Play like uh, playbook, playbook. Yeah. and unfortunately. Now that the show's over, everybody knows what their next move is. Like Aaron Greenberg even said it in an interview. He came out and he said, got the "Playbook for dummies." Know. Yeah, he goes. He, he, yeah, they gave him the shortcut. Yeah, Yoshida got the shortcut, the Braille edition. And like, he, yeah, he was like Braille edition. Yeah, Damn, man, I'm um, you, we came down to it. We're like, now we they know exactly what their enemy's gonna do. Microsoft knows what's coming down the pipe, and. One of you guys did a video of it. I think it was crap. One of you guys did something today. I didn't get a chance to see it, but it was um, basically we know Microsoft knows that they had Call of Duty in its prime. Call of Duty is I saw a lot of videos, but it's got nothing like it used to do when it was Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1 and 2. That was selling 35 million copies. Now they're like around 20. Is that, a, is that small? No, but you don't need to go pay $55 million anymore. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I'm going to tell you how they got that playbook. Matrix on his way out the door went over there like here. <laughs> this is a gold plan right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and gave them bad babies that playbook, boy. And they was like, thank you, Master Master Matrix. <laughs> Matrix. <laughs> well, well, you know what's funny is, right? Okay. He hooked them up, man. As far as E3 okay. goes, right? Like like you hear the media, and I, and I predicted this. I said um, before E3, I said because there were numerous sites saying Microsoft will try hard to win E3, but they'll fail again. Right, mm-hmm. and so I did a video. I was like, "Hey, the media is already trying to set up them for a failure. Don't buy into it. You know, go into it just, you know, and then judge for yourself before you go looking at all the sites and stuff. You know what I mean? Because anybody yeah, that just right. watched those two, just you know, if you sealed yourself off, watch those two back to back. There's no way that you're gonna say Sony had a better conference. And then when you look at what's going on, Xbox One in the top twenty on Amazon. That hundred and fifty dollar controller, top twenty in Amazon still. Ooh, last, yeah. last Guardian." Nowhere near, nowhere in the top 100 on Amazon. 
So, Listen, I mean, I, to the people, people listening, people to the controller crap, we've got to actually preach that. That controller, I'm not. You do not have to drop everything and go pay $150 for that. I went and bought it because I'll tell you right now, myself personally, I felt this way. The reason that I fell in love with the 360, you know, seven eight years ago, was because the controller. Ten and, years ago. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> they, I'm trying to sound younger. Take it easy. Crap. Yeah. You know, so like, you know. <laughs> But no, what I was going to say to you guys, in all honesty, is that like that controller is just as important to the system and everything that you enjoy every day with that console as like gripping sports uh, tires on a sports car. Like it's really important to have a great controller like that. You can't like do all the things you do and not have that. And that, the paddles are a little bit much, but I think like the, the the developer for the controller was saying, if you just take it step by step, do a paddle each time, like just the reload button, let's say you're a COD fan, you're Call of Duty, if, if you're tired of taking your finger off the X button, if you just put one stick back there, it's like your middle finger where it's just dead, it's just held onto the controller, you click that every time you want for a reload, you start to gradually train muscle memory, train your hand into getting used to all those. So don't get freaked out by it. Yeah. And with Halo, a lot of the guns and the way that developers have compiled that game, that short trigger burst that they got, that's going to come in big time for well, games Well, if, you, like if you were a person that was looking to look into like a Pro Mods controller or a Scuf controller, why wouldn't you get the first party version? You yeah. know what I mean? And then that, that D-pad looks really sick. Apparently that's a phenomenal D-pad yeah, on see, there. So. Well, when I see that D-pad, I just think of Zaire because he loves yeah. Killer Instinct. That, that's designed for fighting games. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I mean that's just that just you know gives you that little bit of a kick, a little bit of that edge. Where yeah. I mean, I'll, pro I'll probably you know, eventually get one, but I mean, like right now, man, that's like uh, you know 150 bucks, a little bit high on the high end, but it is phenomenal. I mean, I'm impressed. You, you, you cheap bastard. I am, man. I'm Jewish. <laughs> like, so what are you gonna put to reserve it? 25 bucks down. What are you gonna put to reserve it? Um, I don't I, know, prob probably 50. Point. Yeah, 25, 50, or 25 something. or 50 if you're going to the store. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Amazon is free, isn't it? Do we reserve it? Oh, Amazon, Amazon reserve it. Yeah, they don't charge you anything till it ships. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, but but yeah, I agree. I think it looks phenomenal, and hope you know I'll eventually get one. But I wanted to ask you guys something real quick. The impact of backwards compatibility on the Xbox One, and Yoshida <laughs> came out and said it surprised him because he didn't think it was possible. He didn't think that like that anybody could get backwards compatible with last gen. Um, you know, because obviously it's something that they can't do with the PS3. Microsoft are clearly geniuses at like the software side of things. Um, and not only that, I want to point out. So what did Alan Pinnell say? We have some of the smartest people in the world working for us. Yeah. We are the inventors of the next. <laughs> but but I just want to point out something like the the stock like GPU or whatever that is, and that people try to say is in the Xbox One. Um, it's not that because I don't think that that in itself would be powerful enough to straight emulate the 360 as well as it's doing. And uh, and you know you know the, the interesting thing is, did Digital Foundry ever test any of the PlayStation Now games? Nope. Yeah, no, they did. Yeah, they did. Right? I think they did. Did they? I was yeah, I was kind of curious. Maybe I'll go back and look at that because they yeah did, I, did. yeah they, um they did the um I think they did. I because, think they did. Because they, they they tested Mass Effect, which okay, like it is, it upscales it so it looks better. If it wasn't them, somebody did yeah. because I had seen yeah, they uh, find, a video. Crap? Okay, there, uh, there's it, it one was, glitch. Was there was only one spot where the frame rate dropped, right? But everything else, the pop in disappeared. It upscales it. Everything is like it looks better. It runs. It runs really good. I've been playing it like that way because I just wanted to test it out. Um, and like I didn't run into any issues, but on one particular spot that I guess is a glitch, there's a hiccup. But the main thing is, is that you people have to remember that this is in beta still, you know, mm -hmm. and then, you know everybody else isn't going to get this for months to come. We're testing yeah. it. You know That's I mean? why I so, say a lot of people shouldn't even be in the in the beta program if they yeah. can be out here. Yeah, I used to say that when they complain. Yeah, when, yeah, when people would complain about like the friends list disappearing or whatever when you yeah. were on like, and I'm like, well, you're in the dashboard beta, right? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, well, you can't complain that because that's what you're doing. You're, you know, it's yeah, you're, you're it's testing it to get it, yeah. get it right. These like complaints people, and these things that they have, yeah. they should be emailing them to Microsoft, not out here making thank, videos, thank you, so taking stopper. jabs. Exactly. You know, what's up? You know, and that's what that's what the beta program is really designed for. But yeah, you got is. idiots, and yep. I'm going to say that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of idiots that like to reach and take jabs at things and discourage people well, you know and, what uh, and get people uh, all worried about something when Microsoft is sitting here looking at your complaints. Um, and, one of and my fixing favorite those YouTubers. problems on there. So, you know, one of my that, favorite that, YouTubers did his little, um, you know, the guy who uses the word guys too many times in his show? He just did a video oh, yeah. this afternoon yeah. about how Gears of War beta 
it's just not so ultimate because oh you know, my god and i was like i wrote i wrote this i said man it is a beta man i said instead of making instead of trying to get hits and promote yeah. yourself using this shit i said yeah. why don't you if you are if you're a true xbox guy like you keep telling everybody you are why don't you go ahead and just Who respond is? back you know, you know our boy arsenal guys you know I what i mean say, guys, i wouldn't guys. say our boy dude oh, guys I don't, you know what any guys. Guys. channel stuck in shit Guys, yeah, I, I ain't getting in the middle of that, but Yo, listen, yeah. Man, listen, man. Yeah. I'm gonna say it right. I don't, and I don't like to talk about other. I'm not saying I do. I don't give a fuck. I don't mind smoking. Don't mind. But he's another one that hates on us. Um, you know, what yeah, I mean, for whatever reason, I jealousy. You know what I mean? But he wonder why Xbox fans don't watch his shit. You know what I mean? You know, but you know that's that. Fuck him. He, uh, yeah, I mean, to, to do that while. to get hits, just to get hits for your own channel, man, that's ridiculous. Like he hate, that's crap. He hates crap. He, well, he hates me and crap. I don't give a shit though. But he's yeah. a fan guys, of mine. guys, guys, you know what? Get, you know, you just not the. the I can honestly say I've never, guys, I've that never game watched. Looks like a listen, that game looks like that's how you remaster a game. You compare that to Last of Us. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. If you compare, Gears of War Ultimate to the Last of Us remake on the PlayStation. Can I be Xbox. honest with you? Look, like, like as a hardcore, someone who's played Gears since the beginning, like my that looks beautiful. My clan, yeah, my clan was on. Like my my good buddy Grave, he's like you play with the Mooch. He's a yeah. big Gears head. When he hopped on mm -hmm. that beta, uh, he's like, holy shit! The, especially the most impressed besides the visuals was the 60 frames. You can really tell. Yeah. You, can you tell turn the and it's like yeah, it's like he's like it's holy. Like, it took it, it took it took That's me a little minute to adjust much. to it because it was yeah. like. You know, you almost feel like, like yeah, you bad. almost remember, feel I like it. We don't remember it moving that fast and so yeah. yeah. Cause I mean, I was, I was dipping. I was sitting here like, whoa, wait a minute, I gotta slow down. Like, 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 I, I didn't know we can live stream that on Twitch, and I wasn't sure. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, sure. well, for me, it feels like I was like, holy crap, dude, is my sensitivity up too high? But no, it's just 60 frames per second. Yeah, you man, know yeah. what I mean? You can just, but, but it just. You, but you see, what, did you see? It looks like a, a next generation game. Yeah, it looks great. It That's looks how funny. you remaster a game. I'm gonna go. Yeah. It maybe look, is it not better than Halo 2 remake? That game looks beautiful. I'm I would have had no idea that was <laughs> Gears One. No idea. Yeah, 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 exactly. What do you think? But I have a question for you three here. You know, of course, I was in the the um, I was in the uh, what do you call that shit? The uh, the beta. Uh, and I got a new Xbox, right? Mm -hmm. But so I, I you know, because I, I you guys have, I haven't got my soul. Do what do what do I have to do? Be reinvited? Or should I call Microsoft? Uh, no, yeah. if you if you sign in, you should have that on that console. No, because yeah. no, because it's a new console. Uh, you need to no. transfer your license agreement. License over, yeah. You just got to just uh, uh, you just go. You just got to make that your settings. home console. Yeah, well, no, you got to go into your settings and stuff, and then make it. Um, uh, oh, are you oh, still oh, do you oh, still oh, have your other? I still haven't got the update for to play the old games. What the hell? Hey, do you still have, have your other console? No, no, no. It it, it bombed out. Um. Just, I, I would call it. Yeah, there's a way to switch your license. So I just took it back and, and got a new one. Um, but that one, uh, I got another, I don't know, that one was able to roll over. I don't know if it was too many consoles or something, because I got a new console also. I got my older one in the front one, and I, you know, you might just put a new one. You should, you, you should be able to have up to three. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna call. But you can, you can, you can transfer your license. Like I had to do with that with my 360 because I got a newer 360. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that, that, you, you can transfer the licenses to it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what, what the hell's going on here, man. Yeah, just call them and they'll walk you through it. They'll walk me through it, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you'll be, you'll be back in the Dash update. But you know what, they watch the know. show, too, so if somebody worked. At, at Microsoft? Yeah, I know, 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 I know. Well, you know, it's interesting. Hey, bro, everybody watches this show, man. I just told you. Yeah, they watch the show, because I remember. I've, got, I've freaking got, like, over 150 requests for people wanting invites to the Xbox the dashboard pro program. Yeah. I mean, you know what? My thing is, I want to hit this, man, because if you part of the preview program, it's, it's, it's preview for a reason. It's not to take jabs and to make fun of a game, because that's... It's just that's stupid. If you're part of it, take those concerns and pass them on to Microsoft. Don't use it as part of this little console war stuff. That's, that's the right. stupid. That's right. Yeah. But you, but that's the stupid because you wouldn't even want that. You wouldn't want that to be happening to Sony neither. Uh, but sure, but you know what though? They they, they do that because they 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 need traffic to their channel. I understand, that's but that's that's, why that's cheesy. Funny. If you see anybody doing that trash, oh 
Yeah, we'll guys, hey, stop watching them, man. Guys, hey, guys, you know what? <laughs> you know, guys, I don't know, guys. I got home from work, that's, guys. That's ridiculous. In, guys, you know what I mean, guys? I put it on. It didn't I really work, so I you shot guys, a guy, to guys. you guys ultimate <laughs> content. Hey, yo. Guys. Look, hey, listen. When crap, when crap was a kleptomaniac before he went to church and, and got saved and St. Pop, when he was out there stunning everybody's shit, he was one of the first ones all over my train. <laughs> and I don't even fucking speak to dude. He was like, yo, man. Uh, fuck him, though, with a dick with AIDS on it. Fuck him. People know that I give a rat's ass about. I don't like people like that, man. You know, I saw that today, man. I said that this. I said, and hey, you know what I like to do every once in a blue moon when I do check. You always look at the dude's subscription numbers. His either drop or don't move. They're like in cement. So that, I don't know. What, I don't know how many Ryan, subscribers he gets. I know he doesn't, doesn't have many views. Doesn't get many yeah. views. I don't know what he has. I don't really, I don't really pay attention to them weirdos, but yeah, I don't. And he's a weirdo. Who's this new guy now that's coming at us? Anybody talking about this new guy that's getting taking shots? Dude, I've never even heard of him, but someone messaged me, and I was like, oh my. I, I looked at it. I said, man, dude, I hated the fact when I when I first popped the video on. I'm sitting here like this is this got to be some type of joke because he's sitting in a flame with some swords around him. <laughs> <laughs> I said, man. You just sit your butt down somewhere, man. You just just a hater, man. That right there killed me, man. I was like, wow. The lips people go through and then talking tough on top of it. I said, oh, man. He yeah, a softie. Yeah, Ain't nobody I, I, got time I, I, for that I, trash. I, I never watched that stuff. Like, I, you know, yeah. like, I don't understand it. But I will say this. The, the, the Sony fanboys and stuff have come out of the woodwork lately, and I can tell you exactly why. They're nervous. Mm -hmm. um, they're yeah. trying to make themselves feel better, and that's why. Like I've been attacked more in this past since E3 you than I have in the past. Ah. Well, on Twitter and on social media and yeah. on my site, wow. and stuff like yeah, I'm getting right? all kinds of purple. Um, and yellow I'm telling you, the pictures, the pictures. Oh my God, the pictures they be sending. Is and the crazy. reason why the reason why is clear. Sony had a shitty E3. Microsoft had dropped the bomb. Microsoft has backwards compatibility. Who ever heard of someone downplaying backwards compatibility as a bad thing? How is that a bad thing? It's giving people fucking <laughs> options, and now all of a sudden that's a bad thing, right? Yeah, okay, you, get the fuck over it. So, so you Microsoft, remember that was the main thing coming off of uh, uh, the, um, the E3 uh, 13. Everybody was complaining that both exactly. consoles didn't have backwards compatibility. Exactly. And now... Sony clearly says nope that, that PS4 owners don't want backwards compatibility. You know, now say. now 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 they want to downgrade. They want to thumb yeah. down and do exactly. all this other so, stuff. And, and and stuff. John Doe props on that one. John Doe. Hey, hey, not, not only is it is it, is this did the backward compatibility in all the games and that we're getting this year from the E3, but they've got all this stuff for Gamescom and Sony's not even going to be there. They're going to be biting down hard. The Sony fans are. They don't. Have, they don't know what they're going to do. It's going to be a bad day for them. You know that meme with Ice Cube, where it's like today was a good day. Yeah. That's, that's not what they. They. They're not. They're going to avoid that. That's going to be us. We're going to post that up everywhere because <laughs> it's going to be a good day for us, and it's going to be a very bad day what for they, this. I, look, y'all. Y'all might not get this reference, but next gen will, and some people in the comments will get this reference. But I consider Sony fans old dirty bastard right now because <laughs> ooh baby I like it raw. <laughs> ooh baby I like it raw. they love getting broke, man. Sony. Wow. Coming back like they was pacifiers. Oh, they're don't lie. You guys talking about that Wu Tang Clan shit, right? There we go. Okay. See, I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> you're right. Though. You're right. These guys are getting they're getting nervous because here's the now, now they're losing the 1080p war. Now we're seeing all the multi-platform what? hey, what's, hey, hey, what's next? next? Now we're seeing all these games are coming out same resolution, right. 1080p, 60 frames right. a second. Now we go back to cut, counting blades of grass again, or whatever the fuck the case may be. Mm -hmm. But what happened if they lose that? Take that away because this guy's leaving. I told him, and I told him it would be, and and, and 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 let Microsoft win a couple of months in sales. Then what? Then it's what? Okay. It's about the games, fellas. That's now it's gonna be all about the about the game. Cause it's been, this generation has been about sales and resolution. Yeah. You're taking the resolution thing away from them, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Xbox One sales are up, and the place isn't well selling. So, so, but if you take that from them, what will they have? Well, it's about the games. Cause we please just talk about the games. And they and, and they losing that they don't have any fucking games now. How listen we listen. Shout out to Maze, uh, Maziago, 
the resident pony of Big Gamer Small Talk Podcast. He's here every week with his list. You know, he's a very respectful dude, <laughs> but he's a pony. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But I mean, that means he doesn't have. He's not too, not too, not too swift up top. You know what I mean? The cheese cut off the <laughs> him. But with that being he was said, the one that was saying if Sony was going to win the holiday this year. He really did make me laugh out loud on that yeah, one. But even with that being said, you know, what they they said that Sony had these surprises for E3 with games that were coming out this year. Literally, and I'm not even. I swear to God, I'm not even trying to be funny. I, until dawn, until dead, until dawn. The mm-hmm. Gears of War, I'm sorry, God of War remaster comes out in July. They didn't even show that. No, they didn't. Comes out in July. And I guarantee, listen, I guarantee anybody in this comment section right now that Ge- Gears of War uh, uh, Ultimate looks much better than God of War Remaster, remake or whatever the fuck the case may be, rapidly. Yeah. Okay, so you got the God of War, you got the Until Dawn. What do you have? Uh, that that Uncharted collection. Okay. And, 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 and was yeah. it confirmed about Beyond Two Souls? And was that confirmed? Yeah, they confirmed Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain. I don't know if that's this year or not, but man, oh, that's. No. It's gonna be this. You don't have no, anything. No, Z, Z, do 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 the math right there. You just said okay, God of War okay, three okay, reasons. Right, right, Unchar- count, oh, count, no, check that's count, count. Count. Uncharted three let's three count. games, count. right? Start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. You got okay. So God of War three. God of War three. Until dawn. Until Uncharted dawn. one, two, and three. Until dawn. No, see, no, no, yeah, but no, hold on. I, wanna, I, wanted, to, I wanted to prove a point real okay, quick. But listen, opponents have to break down two separate games. That's one game, okay? The Uncharted Collection is one game. It's not three games. Right. Okay? It's one game. No, All right, no, no. So yeah, you yeah. got God of War, Until Dead, Until Dawn, Uncharted, Until dawn. and what else? What else? Tell me another retail game. Uh, uh, I'm not even sure if that's Tear Away. Tear Away. away. Tear away. That's not, that's not a retail game. <laughs> oh, it ain't? Okay. No, so uh, tear that shit away. That's what the beat up. Tear <laughs> that shit away. So, what, what, shit you out, know, right? man, No oh, Man's man. Sky is not a retail game either. And I know that's not coming. I don't even know right. what the fuck the, 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 the purpose of that game is. Hey, nobody know what the hell that is. Hey, I'm saying, you know what? You know what's crazy? When he was unveiling it, he said, oh, look what you can do right here. Pew, 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 pew. Said, yeah. 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 He's like, look, look, look what you can do. I was waiting for some shit to go down. He said, and he, he said it real fast at the end. Like, you could do, you can go planet to planet and you could do some fighting. <laughs> I said, wow. Hey, at least you didn't cry this year. Yeah. yeah. He said, you could do some fighting. I said, oh my God. I ain't seen no scrapping. I, I know we get every week of saying that we're Sony bashers. No, you know what I mean? Like, at least, yeah. half, at least half the people in the podcast own the PlayStation 4. What the fuck do they have for retail? I, I'm going to say this every week we get on here. I want to go buy one. Someone sell me on it. Why? Why you're, would I go get you're, one you're just gonna, You're just going to just sit there and collect the dust. Hey, I'm going like to tell you mine. right now, Warrior. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, Mooch. You see what happened when the crap, crap called me in confidence? I hey, did. Like, yeah, <laughs> gonna, listen, crap always calling me in confidence. Hey, next gen, I got a few extra bucks. I'm thinking about getting the PlayStation 4. I said, crap, for what? Yeah. What are you going to do that for? Yeah, you see what the hell happened after that? Dude, no, seriously, you know, you know exactly what next gen says to me, right? And I should have listened to him, right? He's like, dude, you're an Xbox guy. There's nothing on the PS4. You're not going to play multiplats on there. There's no good exclusives. He's like, it's just going to sit there. It's going to be a waste of money. Um... And that's basically exactly what's happened. It just sits yeah. there. I Yo, play. I, no I stop play playing the exclusive. Yeah. The shitty. You know those 2020 shows they used to do back in the day with the undercover camera showing people mm-hmm. returning shit. Crap mm-hmm. does that with his PS4 and returns it. He'll get like 500 views, more than triple as each video. Have your brother film you from behind, cause like Z said, they don't want that in there. So have that like like a bag with a camera on it. Show him, uh, like I don't want this shit and throw it back. I don't want this shit. Where's well, 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 the funny thing is, is this right? Like they get away with this every generation. Just look at how long it takes them to get quality games out. It's like two, three years, and that's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Um, again, they get away with this stuff. Look at the Shenmue Kickstarter. At first, they're like, yeah, no, we're, we're not, we're not funding any of it. Now they've come out and admitted they're funding. Some of the game. Once Let's you're, talk about that. Let's talk you're, about you're right a now. multi-billion dollar corporation, and we make fun of Sony for not having money. They don't have Microsoft money, but they still have money. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And you're talking about it's a game. Matter. They spent 50 million on getting Call of Duty DLC, right? Yeah, they spent. Yeah, they yeah. probably spent a lot of millions to get 
uh, Destiny Star DLC. Wars. Probably another 50 to 75 for Destiny DLC. Yeah, they Star spent Wars. more money on Star Wars, right? And they can't come out and say, hey, we're funding this game or send out surveys. They're, dude, there's people on the internet who said, who's been saying they've wanted Shenmue 3 for the past five, six, seven years. Two years, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so how could I think that's a bunch of bullshit? Them saying, "Well, we were using this Kickstarter to gauge interest," because you know what this does. And Sony's come out and said, "We have a list of other stuff we might do this with." That sets a right. negative. You know precedent. what? This is this is what I didn't like about the move. It's because you're making gamers pay twice. That's right. You know, and I mean, if the if the people that's investing is getting this game free, then okay then. But if they're not getting it free and they're investing to, to kickstart this, and everybody is you know Jump putting their it. money in, and then all can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so and you putting your money in this, and and you know all you're gonna get is your name in the credits and stuff like that, and then they're gonna make you pay a sixty dollars for this game again. I don't think that's right. You know, you're those credits are gonna be in 120 frames per second, moving 100 miles an hour. Ain't nobody <laughs> see shit. No, you know Hopefully I mean? you can pause that trash because no, I mean, no, no, but but not even so much. You, you guys are beginning to missing the big picture here. Not so much making you pay twice. I heard they raised the Kickstarter to ten million now. Oh yeah, but see yeah. another thing that I didn't like about the whole thing is that he he waited to E three. Now after I I would have thought he would have stopped him and said, you know what, for the gamers we're going to support this game. You know what I'm saying because y'all wanted it. They didn't do none of that. They had this man up on stage begging. You know what I'm saying? It's in your hands. It's in your hands. You know what I'm saying? Begging for this game to be made. And, you know, you know, uh, then he, after he do all that, you still wanted to wait around before you sit here and say anything about you helping uh, fundraise the game. You, you know didn't what? say nothing until you start hearing people complain about it. And, you, you know and then what? you seen the money go up. You know what? Then you spoke. So, so <laughs> if you didn't believe that Sony wasn't going to make their game from the beginning, they, 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 listen, that was they just took people money. Sony yeah, was that's a it. Sony, let me tell you something. Sony was going to, and, and you know, fund that game regardless. You know what I mean? They just wanted to come out and make it something like they were the good guy. But what's fucked up is, is that they took people's money. Yeah. You know, what I mean? that's that, you know what? If you're going to back the game, get people back their money. Then you understand what I'm saying? That, that's but, true. But another thing, everybody keeps saying Kickstarter. Shamu, let's be real. Shamu is not a Kickstarter. No, it ain't. This this game has too much history. It's yeah. been out a long time, you know. And a, a lot of gamers to support. I wouldn't say casuals would like this game, but the hardcore gamers, those that's been oh, gaming for a while, yeah. they know about this dang on game. You know it's what I'm saying? And this is what they've been wanting. So you can't sit here and say we're going to start over with this game and do a Kickstarter when this game have history and you continue on on from the last series. Yeah, it's like The Witcher meets uh, two two crimes in L.A. What's the damn Kung Fu game? Um, What's the Kung Fu game? Oh, that was that that shit that was free just a couple months ago on 360, right? Yeah, Yeah. that. Um, Sleeping Dogs? Sleeping Dogs. It's like The Witcher meets The Sleeping Dogs. You know, if I can yeah. if I can explain yeah. the game, it, it is you know what I mean. But again, Sony has been back in that game. Is going to fund that game because in two million dollars only needed. Microsoft would have bought that shit for two million dollars. Yeah. Let's, let's be real. I, you know, yeah, let's, 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 let's be honest. Careful, Phil, Phil didn't want that game on the platform. He didn't. Uh, it, no, no, I don't believe that. I, 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 I don't believe that. that. I, I believe he actually, that. No, he said that. He actually way, he came out and said that. He said that they they were going to focus on their own stuff. That he said that like when he first took over, people would ask him about the franchise, and he says, "Well, they're working on their own stuff," and he wasn't interested in having that on I, Xbox. I, I mean, but I mean, I mean, but listen, everybody wants you. I wouldn't even say that. I think he was saying that because. The deal was already struck between them and yeah, Sony, Sony somewhere Sony, along those lines. Yeah. I mean, you know that was I mean? over a year ago, though. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm, they don't, you know, you know, it takes a while for you know to get up and grip, but I guess they to to give them the full, you know, their back and see what you know the audience was really into, but what they should do. They were, fuck that! Before I'm, I'm going, they raised the shit to ten million dollars now. Yeah. How do you do that? You just asked us for two million. Now, if you guys want some behind some cutscenes and some bloopers, you know, you need ten million. Like, what? Well, the well they say on? ten million, and he'll make it a, a fully open world game with forklifts. So, oh, I mean, God. yeah, I mean, look, this is the thing, right? Uh, Kickstarter is for startup companies, independent companies, not for and not not for a game like Shenmue that's a triple A title, 
Right. Right. I mean, come on. Let's let's be real. It's for like you know people want to make. Uh, and I, I I say like my, my man um, bites the chicken. You see what I'm saying? Indie developers like that that's doing Kickstarters, that's trying to start up uh -huh. and do something from the ground up and trying to get their foot in exactly, the door. To, exactly. You know, trying to do something. Like if he wanted to make a real good game and he needed funding, that's what it's for. You know, you know, and I, I, I don't, you know, for a person like like him that's been around for a long time, um, somebody should have backed him. He know how the game goes. Maybe Kickstarter. Maybe he was a kleptomaniac. Crazy. Yeah. And it was a sexual deviant. They went one of them around or something. Something wrong with that guy. He looked like Ray Strange walking the streets. You know what I mean? He looked like a weird, like he was around groping women or something. It's in your hands. No, it's in my hands. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I'm glad the game is getting made, though. You know, I, I still would, I still would play it. You it never bad. It's never bad. But it, I just don't, I just don't like how they structure everything it's by getting really gamers. I have never game. seen a, a big company like, like, like that. Go this route. That's like a little weird. I say it all the time, show. Imagine if Microsoft did something like this. The yeah, we, we wouldn't. We'd have to do a podcast a night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next time would be next time would be Skype me. Yo, crap! How are we gonna damage control? Hey, this? yo, that was back in the day, man. <laughs> Damage control, man. Epi and Iron Man, he's back trying to spin it. <laughs> I was like, hey, this, I, I was like, we could, we could use, we could do it this way. <laughs> Yo. So how are we gonna jump out of front of the wall with that? <laughs> but yeah, hey, 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 the Xbox came a long way, man. I ain't lying, it came a long. way. And you know what the way, funny bro. thing is, though? Yeah, the Xbox has come a long way, but how does Sony always end up looking fine? Or like, this will be swept under the rug. People will forget all about this in a couple of days. Like Sony. Like, okay, say you're in a crowded room and there's, like, a um, Sony executive, right? And, uh, or, you know, or you know, if you could just embody Sony in a person, you're in this crowded room and then you're like, man, what's that fart? And then somebody's like, oh, that was Sony. And then they're yes, like, so oh, well, that, th then they're like, oh, that doesn't smell bad. That smells oh, great. Man. That's Jesus. strawberries. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's wonderful. Hey, <laughs> crap, prime example, games car. <laughs> They all on stage talking. You see your shooter ass up there sleep snoring. It's like, oh, he's just tired. From all the work he's just time. sleepy from all. That's because he's putting in all that Listen, extra work. He's he's he's, he's putting so much work in getting us good games. <laughs> exactly. So, so I'm, or or anybody that brings up this Paris Games Week that nobody fucking heard of. If you never heard of it or talked about this thing before, shut up about it because Yo, it's watch, watch, IG, it is... watch IGN had the largest tent at that fucking thing. Oh. <laughs> right? Just IGN well, dude, and Greg, Greg Miller's company. They got to get Destin and those guys, right? The guys that picked, the, the Xbox guys just said oh, so. Man, listen, the best show. Never. I'm not telling anybody to go click on it, but those sons of bitches did an E3 after show and they literally said verbatim that. Sony won because my God, did you see how they illustrated those third-party games? Yeah, and I was like, like literally, I just sat there, like you would have thought my ass was frozen, right? I didn't drink a V8 that day. I was sideways staring at the television. <laughs> I was like, what? Did you say third-party games? Basically, like, third yeah, the same shit that Jeff Keighley and all those asshats yep. gave gave Don Matrick for after previous E3s like years ago, because all they would show, all they would do is show multiplats, right? Uh, and the same ones that bitched at him for that are praising Sony for that. That's like the bullshit that really like ticks me off. And people think we got like tinfoil hats and shit. It's for real. But, and yeah. you want a perfect example of this? Rise of the Tomb Raider, one of the best games of two or Tomb Raider reboot 2013 was one of the best games of that year in a in a year full of great games. Right? It won Game of the Year awards on numerous sites. Uh, scored really well. Sold like nine million copies. That game is getting completely ignored by the media because it's an Xbox exclusive. If that would have been a multiplat, it would have been on everybody's list. But what was on the list instead? Rock Band, Guitar Hero, uh, Persona 5, which didn't even make a showing at E3, by the way. So you guys can suck that all. You guys that thought America was giving a shit about that game. We don't give a shit about that game. And they didn't show it here. They're probably going to save that for that Tokyo bullshit. You know what I mean? Because Americans don't care about that game. At least me, anyway. The majority. When I say Americans, showstopper, I see you glaring at me, right? I see you glaring at me. But I'm saying the majority of Americans don't really care about that type of game. No. Oh, okay. Yo, listen, let's talk about it like this. And all honesty, just before, I don't want the show to end and this doesn't get out. Me and Z were going through a list of games. And out of those games, okay, you've got Uncharted collection you've got god of war 3 coming out that's a remaster then you've got uh beyond two souls and another one that's that's three or four games coming out 
that Sony's taking between forty and sixty dollars of your money, and I know everyone on PS4 is gonna. They gotta have that, man. I gotta have that Uncharted shit. I got so you gotta have all those, right? So that's just say forty. You know, you're at big bucks right there out of your pocket on games you already own. And Microsoft went ahead and said anything you'd like to play, let us know. We've got about a hundred games coming out this Christmas, and we'll and by Come mid next year, you'll have two or three hundred games on there on the backwards compat. And to be honest, that they're going to be free. So Microsoft's giving you seven new games to buy, and Sony this year is giving you four games you already own to give them another forty to sixty dollars per. And that's yeah. something that's not being discussed in the media. That's no big deal. That's yeah, cool. yeah, Bring but like Microsoft basically uh, said, said, "Hey, hey, Sony." Your your uh, your pl- your Gaikai purchase for four hundred million. That's cute, but we're gonna render that obsolete. You know what I mean? And then they're also saying, hey, you know those remaster those remakes or remasters that you guys are working on, like six or eight of them or whatever the hell, however many it's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Um, those are gonna be rendered obsolete because if you have if you buy an Xbox One, you could have just played the best three sixty games on your Xbox One. You know what I mean? But but Sony's making you rebuy these games. If they had yep. backwards compatibility, you wouldn't need to because you could buy all three Uncharted games for under thirty bucks. Right now, wasn't with, it rumored also? Online. Wasn't it also rumored that Sony was supposed to have a thirty-minute presentation of Project Morpheus during E3, and they were supposed to do a big thing on the um, PS Now? Hey. Neither of those made a big joke because Microsoft basically shut the door on them by linking up with um, uh, Oculus Rift Ooh. and by having back. Backwards compatibility. They yeah. really shut the. They they killed Sony's presentation before they even hit the stage. Not only that, but the little bit of stuff. I want. I'm glad you brought up the the Project Morpheus stuff, right? Because people were like, when you think VR, I think people were expecting like next gen. You're gonna play as Kratos in a God of War game, and that ain't happening. You know what you're getting? You know what they showed off? The snow cone would simulator. Like, would look like Connect games from last gen. That's what they look like. They look like goddamn Connect games, like the little ball game where you're hitting the ball. <laughs> They, they show the game that I saw yeah. was you hit a soccer ball with your head into a net. I mean, they were really like bad, cheesy looking, like PS2 style graphics. This is not what people are expecting. It's it's no. real cheesy. It's horrible. Uh, you know, Sony is gonna lose a lot of money on this thing a because it's completely. They're saying what's, it's gonna be. What's the price? Of? They didn't give a price. They're saying it's going to be a leak. That it's going to be a few hundred, at least a few hundred dollars. Yeah, I heard minimum two hundred. I think you're going to see three hundred out the gate. Yeah. yeah, because you're gonna want uh, like move controllers, and cause so you can look like you got the double-handed dildos going. And well, I, 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 I mean, come yeah, on, dude. They, they, they didn't change that though. They made them a little sl- cool slicker. I heard. Well, so well, they had to, cause those things were fucking cheesy, dude. No one's buying that, guys. Everybody knows nobody's buying that. They got the Vita right now for $150. Nobody's buying it. Hey, would anybody really sub- trust them to support that thing long term? Especially That's given, my point. Yeah, given the, the way they – yep, you're right. With the Vita and the way they dropped the first move. I How mean, about really, the way they're treating the PS4 crap? There's no games coming out for the PS4. Well, yeah, you can't confuse people. You can't convince people of that, though. Come on. I know, I know. That's smoke and mirrors. Yeah. Right? I mean – what? I mean, Let me say this. Man. What's keeping the PS4 afloat? Just be honest, all the multi-plats and the media. And if you were to take the multi-plats from the PS4, honestly, I know there hasn't been a, uh, an exclusive release for the Xbox One in a while, but we know there's so much on their horizon. But for the PS4, there is none. Just think about that. I'm just, and, I'm, and I'm not trolling. I give you Street Fighter, which is a kick-ass game. In a way, sometimes I kind of think about it. I'm not the biggest. Sony do, you know what I mean? So a lot of the games are not high up on my list. High mm-hmm. up on my list. But there's nothing to me, nothing on the PS4 comes close to Gears of War 4. Nothing. And that's included the Uncharted. And I give them that. That's their Halo. That's the biggest game on their platform. But you know what I mean? But, you know, like, damn, but outside of us, but, but outside of that, what else did you have? Microsoft has Halo 5. Gears 4, Forza mm-hmm. Motorsport 6, Quantum Break. We're not even talking about Quantum Break like that. Do you remember that 15 minute tech, that de- no, even a tech demo, that 15 minute actual gameplay demo from last year at Gamescom? Yo, they're People just polishing it. Right People are still watching that game to this day. That's beautiful. We have all of that coming to the Xbox One. Yeah. And but you know what? I, I, I laugh when release. people sit here and say that a game ain't been out in a while. We know that each year they put out certain amount of exclusives per year. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sony has a certain number. Microsoft has a certain number. Only thing Sony did was put theirs at the beginning of the year. That's it. They year. didn't spread it out. They didn't spread it out or anything like that. They put them all at the beginning of the year. And they should have probably spread it out a little bit. Here's the thing. You know, and but I mean, that's what, that's what is, happens. They're going to say this is biased for me to say this, but our worst game, our worst exclusive this year, beats their best. And I don't give a rat's ass <laughs> what Metacritic said. Come on, man. <laughs> Nobody's looking for... Who right now is going to be like, screw you, Mooch. I'm going to play Bloodborne again. No, uh, 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 I actually uh, uh, heard uh, someone talking up Bloodborne who? again, though. They're like, Bloodborne's the, you know, they're like, what delirious. A, yeah, Bloodborne is pretty shitty. Like, even even uh, Wari, who's not here, was like, and he puts his best face on everything. He, he gave Bloodborne a try. He's like, man, that shit's dog shit. Yeah, man. I tried it too. It was a pretty cool game. It is dog uh, I shit. I, I don't like the, um, you know what? You should be a pony, Showstopper. You like all those weird. You like all those weird games, man. I played Bloodborne. My son has it. And what I don't like about the game, I mean, it's cool. The the graphics are nice and all. But the enemies can swing through the wall and hit you. Yeah. (laughs) Shit, it ain't ain't, ain't, ain't crisp. It ain't crisp. And you know what? It's funny. If you want to see Z, what you're saying is true. Go ahead and look at Dark Souls 3. I understand that that's just a, a, a... Trailer, you know, isn't real gameplay, but you wait and see. That's from software as well. Watch the time, dedication, and absolute polish they put into that game. That's going to be a multi-plat versus yeah. the speedy, quick shit they put in Bloodborne. Bloodborne's just got a couple of nice visuals with the puddles and the lighting effects on the ground. But realistically, except for what you see on the ground, that wet and and this is notorious. It's the same thing they did in Infamous. Like they're notorious for doing this uh, PlayStation. They have that like those lighting effects off the ground, but everything that's in front of you is nothing that fancy. It's really not. It's not that beautiful. All that's really beautiful sometimes is the environment or the actual the, the part you're stepping on. So literally, from software is gonna put their best foot forward for this Dark Souls three. That's when you're gonna actually see how like demoted Bloodborne actually is. is and I'm not even interested out. in that shit, man. Well, Dark not Souls, either. Uh, not either. Fallen, what the hell is that? Fallen Soldier? Uh, what the hell is that? Like, when Lords, Microsoft of, Lords of the Fallen, Fallen, Fallen or whatever. I'm not interested in any of that bullshit. That's all no. weirdo. Yeah, but I think that they should have really took their time with uh, Bloodborne. If you, listen, I'm going to be fair. Let's be fair, guys. People like those type of games. And, you know, that's why yeah, I guess... It's a, it's a small portion of people, though, right? Like, they do, like, but the, I, I think the... How should I say this? It's not that polished. Like I said, I've I played it a few times. And I get the fact that it's hard to get off on the challenge factor. But if I'm hiding behind a wall for cover, and this motherfucker got this long ass sickle like I know what you did last summer, how the fuck is he hitting me through the wall? Is that a glitch? I don't know. No, that's how it is. There's no hiding behind shit. I don't know, man. I played about I played about two minutes of. They go swing that long. They don't know that like, long. This is the what gayest thing I've ever played. It's going to hit you the wall. I mean, what the fuck is this? Then you, I don't know, you, man. You, the main protagonist is a dope thing, aka Doc Betty, be stabbing us up in the thigh in two minutes. <laughs> I played sneaky. I, I played sneaky king. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, basically the, the same thing. thing. I'm saying to myself while I'm playing it, is this insulin or smack? What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck is he jabbing himself with there? I don't know, but you know what? I'm glad. Do you, how fast has have they decided to milk that franchise? Right? I mean, it's already getting a third one. There's a Demon Souls. There's a Blood Boy. It's all Souls basically. So yeah. basically, five of the exact same carbon copy type game in what like well, six years? Three is co-op. If, th- if they make it co-op, you know, it'd be a little better. I, I, you know, people I mean, would they- flip their shit if they made it co-op. You know why people buy that game? Uh, is because it's hard, and it, and it's only hard because uh, they, you know, with the whole save point, you die and then you go back or whatever. A lot of people don't, no, I guess. You. Yeah, so so you got to go back and like replay like two hours worth of shit that you lost out on or whatever. So, like to me, I there's I would much rather spend that. You know what I'm saying? Even on a game like The Witcher Three, which I'm fucking bogged down like no other in that game. But um, you know, at least when you die, you're not sent back four hours, you know, because then at that point it's like, I'm done. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like totally done. Like, I'm past the age where I was like, I remember when I played Dragon Age 1 on 360 and I couldn't beat the end because I didn't level up my character correctly and I didn't have the right stuff. So I had to start all over again and I was pissed off, so I powered through that shit, you know, another 35 hours to where I could beat it. I'm not doing that shit anymore, you know what I mean? Like, uh, 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 you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not 20 
five twenty four year old crap gamer. You know what I'm saying? It's like crap uh, gamer. Yeah, I don't, you know, I, I don't want to. When I, when I pick a difficulty on a game now, it's enjoy the story or I'm new to shooters, so go <laughs> easy on me. You know what I mean? Like I don't want a challenge. You know, I like seeing the stories and you know. But for the most I part, so, I, so I think I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think as the older I get, the more casual I'm becoming. Exactly, exactly. I don't think you know, there's anything wrong with that. I don't got time to spend fucking a hundred hours. I really don't. Shit. I don't, man. I play me. Every day I get my game in two I spent I spent every bit of two hundred hours on um The Witcher. <laughs> you know what? I got like sixty hours. Into that game. I ain't even back into that game. I don't, I don't ended it already. Yeah, that, you did? Heck yeah, yeah, man. Yo, can you? Can, I yeah, ended that start, like last week. Yo, can I start beelining it through the main missions, or do I got to do all that side quests? You gotta level up, or else you're not. You gotta level game. up, man, before you go to that that yeah. end boss, man. That end boss man, I'm is trying. I'm not gonna crazy. Lie to you. This shit is some of that it's end boss hell. is crazy. Maybe yeah, I should I lower. Know. I'm playing that shit. I'm playing it on the second hardest, like the blood, blood and bones, or whatever it's called, or some shit like that. Yeah. that. I, I was Once like, you I, think you I, fought I the, like, the boss, me, you gotta please. fight somebody else, man. It'd be it, it's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. I, I was like, I was like, just do the story for me. Uh, you know what I mean? I just yeah, want to. I want to. I just want to push over the cardboard cutouts and see the story. You know what I mean? I'm excited <laughs> for Batman to come out just because I need a break. Yeah, that's gonna be yes, my next yeah. game. I'm gonna play through that. The last, you know, the last game. I'm following. The last game that I beat. I'm gonna be honest with you. Was the Order, Order 1886? <laughs> before that, though, was Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, I beat good. Sunset. I beat oh, Sunset okay. Overdrive, and that's that Sunset. Uh, other game after that, I, was, I beat. Was the order eighteen eighty six? You know what I, and I, I had started playing. Um, uh, what do you call that shit? The Assassin's Creed got pretty far in that. I was live streaming. I, I that game, that game interested. gets that game had some fucking difficulty spikes. I remember having a little bit of issue towards the end with that game, but it was a great game. Unity was, but anyway, like next gen. The other day when me and you kind of did a podcast. And I said I picked up Arkham Asylum Game of the Year on 360 because it has a different set of achievements. I'm already on the end boss on that already, man. You know Damn. what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. Like, I power, because those games are so good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already knew what to do. Go do no, there. You don't have a sex life, you fat bastard. Fuck That's something. right, man. Well, like, no, yeah, the man. grannies aren't attracted kids, to kids me. Kids will slow you down, it. crap. Kids yeah, will slow you down. You know what I mean? I got, I, got, I, got these, I got these old bitches lined up by the door. Well, I know. <laughs> well, well, no. Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum is only about a six to eight hour game if you know what you're doing. Oh, right. is that you know what I'm saying? I tell yeah. that bitch I got an arc for her in my pants. Oh, damn, dude! Come on, man. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to hear well, that. I mean, I, that's that's man. another image I did not hey, yeah. want to see. What's that nigga named Tyrone? I'm here to fuck your wife alone. Oh bitch. my god. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, let's take some questions. Tyrone, this shit funny. Oh. oh. Hey, Jay Williams messaged me. He says they got some new designs up on the shop. Let's e-bag real quick while we can. Okay, let's ladies, and ladies and gentlemen, you can take <laughs> crap. Go. Go crap. ladies and gentlemen, if you want to support Big Gamer Small Talk, go to our shop and buy some swag. We got shirts, we got <laughs> hoodies, we got uh, iPad cases and Samsung, Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy cases, Galaxy iPhone Android, cases. And iPad phone cases, uh, iPad uh, travel cases. mugs. We got uh, yo, guys, you get a lot, we'll get a lot more sales if you do it in that Yazuki name. Like, people ask me all the time, how do I get a Yazuki? All the time, <laughs> how is it that's, that's a new that's a new sales pitch. How yes. do I get big game us small talk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want a small talk pussy. <laughs> I walk. I cannot walk the street without somebody asking me for a shirt <laughs> or a hoodie. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but hey, listen. click the link below, y'all, and yeah, and, and go there and and and, but check it out, and, and support us. You got all your. We still add more, but you got Showstopper him. You know, you got him choking the choking the, choking the help the fuck out of Pony. <laughs> you got crap pissing on the PlayStation 4. Yeah, I'm pissing all thing. over that PS4, and that thing should. All of the, like you said, if you don't like any of us, you think we all suck dick and swallow spit, fuck it. But you yeah, got the man. name of Small Talk Podcast yeah. T-shirt itself. Like I said, if you go, you see a T-shirt, if you click to the right of the T-shirt, it says Clothing Style, and then from there you can get all types of sweatshirts, hoodies, um, what doesn't you name it. Like I said, it's really fashion, like something that you can really wear outside. Like I'm not just saying it because you know we're promoting it, but I bullshit you not, not, and it's not cheap either. Not saying it's che not cheap in cost, but it's not made cheap. Uh, and also, if you click under that, it says available products. 
it will show you everything that we have. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. My stuff should be here maybe in a few days. So you're going to see me wearing the T-shirts and the videos and stuff. And um, if you want to see us if, in your favorite podcast, maybe your second favorite, third favorite, it doesn't make a difference. If you want to see us at GamesCon or whatever the case may be, this is how we're going to do to fund us to get to these, these, you know, to take our brand and our show to the next level. You know what I mean? And um, we'll ask you to support us. We, you know, I mean, and if it's for those of you who do buy something, we're going to be like raffling off. Maybe you know, I'll buy you guys an extra shirt or come on the podcast with us. You know, I mean, everybody wants to be a part of the show. The sad thing is, we can't put everybody on the show. I get that question a thousand times a day, and trust yeah, me, I'm not saying that to be funny. It's just that, just like you're asking me, I swear I get that question ninety times a day. And I'm not saying I'm aggravated by it, but the way that we do get you guys. You know, to be a part of the shows by asking, but or calling it live because we can't put everyone on the show. But like I said, if you buy which a is shirt, a good segue to get your questions ready right now. Yeah, <laughs> if you buy a shirt though. You know, buy a shirt. You know, what I mean, like we're gonna also, maybe bring you guys on for a segment of the show. You know, because I understand everybody wants to hear their voice. You know, a platform to voice their opinion. So you know, what I mean, like you gave us a voice within this community, we give you guys a voice within this community also. So like I said, if you have any question for us. Shoot them up now. We're here. Um, do you guys see anything live? Yeah, hold on. We got there. There is a question. Somebody asked, "What do you think will sell better, Uncharted Four or Halo 5? What's it, Uncharted Four or Halo Five? Uh, you know Halo what? I'm, I'm gonna say this about Uncharted. Uncharted took itself out of the competition because it was scared to go up against Tomb Raider. Yeah, they supposed Ooh. to be released on the same day. But yep. what 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 did Sony do? They pushed it back. Yeah. Cause they didn't want that competition. To be fair, in that, my humble been, opinion, wait, wait, hold up, that wouldn't have been. That wouldn't have been. That wouldn't have been, would have been. You know what? I'm. A, I'm not. I, think, I know it wasn't ready. That would have been a good show off showdown. To Heck yeah! In my humble opinion, they 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 took away the biggest game clash. You know, she she birthed him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Without her, it wouldn't be no him. To so right. have them go up against each other, you know, that would have been nice. But yeah, you know, now, Sony. Sony was like, "Wait a minute, this game looked too nice. Let's yeah. push it back to next but year." But Halo, by far, <laughs> is a much bigger franchise than than Uncharted. It's going to, yeah. uh, especially here in North America. Um, it's going to. My grandmother knew who Master Chief is. She knew who the fuck Drake. Who the fuck is Drake? The singer, the rapper. Who the fuck is Pink <laughs> Drake? No. Hey, somebody just caught my shirt and they tweeted me. I got your pink shirt. That doesn't sound good, but yeah, Ooh, they got they got my pink shirt, man. Yeah, me pissing on the thing. Be pissing on a PS4, man. His wait, name wait, is. Who, who just bought your shirt? Just shout him out. His, his name. Him? His name's Tyler Foster. Shout out to Tyler Foster for, for, for popping cop that big game of small talk gear. Yeah. Shout out mm -hmm. to you, Tyler. Hell you yeah. To, you about to get all the bitches and all the riches wearing that and shirt. And when you guys game. get these things, take some pictures, man. I'd like to like put them up. Send them up. You can something. tweet them. You know, what I mean, yeah. put them on a, um. I'm gonna put them on my wall because I'm a freak like that. Hell He's yeah, strong. dude! You're gonna have a bunch of people's. Uh, Mm -mm. You know, pictures of them on their wall and shit. You know, we got, listen, we also got things for the women, too. So we got any female listeners out there. You can get you some jiggins. You know what I mean? Whatever, <laughs> that, whatever the hell you call them. We got a little bit of everything here. But we got, what's, we got any more questions in the comments section? Yeah, yeah, we got some. Um, Let's see. Since Fallout 4 and Tomb Raider are coming out on the same day, do you think Microsoft should have both games in a bundle for three forty nine? Wait. Fallout 4 and Tomb Raider coming out the same day, you think Microsoft should put... Uh, I think they should do a Tomb Raider bundle. They're gonna do a Tomb Raider bundle for sure. I mean, that, that's that's like, a foregone conclusion. And they they have the deal with Fallout Four, so I mean the marketing deal. So I wouldn't see. That's too much. I can't see them giving you two two games with that caliber. Yeah. Well, you know, well, you know, it's Microsoft. You never know. Well, what's interesting is games. you know what they're doing right now. They're offering a free game when you buy an Xbox One, like your choice. You can pick up Batman. Um, and they did the same thing with Destiny, remember, because Sony yep. had the de marketing yeah. deal with Destiny. Sony has a marketing deal with Batman, so they're saying, hey, buy an Xbox One, get free Batman. And guess which one is going to count towards the sales? It's going to be the one that you get for free, not the one bundled with the PS4. Right. So, yeah, so that's a very clever yeah, move by Microsoft. NPD is going to be very interesting to me. Next month's NPD. If, I mean, going forward from now, going forward to me is going to be very interesting. If... if if the Xbox One does lose, it's not going to be by much. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, everyone's excited now about the backwards compatibility. Um, yeah. Like people just want to, you know, just because, just you know, they do get a, a, a bump up in right, you know, textures and stuff. The games look a little better running on the Xbox One. So people are really looking, you know, dumpster diving right now. You know? 
Yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's a pretty slick thing. That's questions? what everybody's talking about. Yeah, we do. Hold on, I'm refreshing this page. All right, let me, uh, let, me, let, me let me refresh the page. I can unlock the other ones. Uh, all right, let me refresh it. Um, let's see. Somebody says, Rowdy Crow says, what do you think about the people saying that backwards compatibility is half-assed? I think it's a half-assed. Half you know what? They're, the people that are saying it are Sony fans. If yeah, anyone yeah. can honestly praise PS Now and not give Microsoft their props for native being able to just pop the disc in, like, come on, bro. What's half-assed about that? Yeah, like you have more options. They're more gonna games. they're gonna have hundreds of games, and not only that, like I was over at the game store, and people were buying, like, hey, you got any more copies of Mass Effect One on the 360? You know what I mean? Like people, like it's actually gonna cause a spike in sales for 360 and software. Xbox One. Yeah, you know, you're gonna get a lot of software sales. You're gonna get, you know what I'm saying? And and you can just tell, like, the Xbox One is top ten Amazon right now, and that that hardcore $150 controller that people said nobody wanted. Is top twenty. Sell, that thing is selling like crazy. Yeah, selling so like people, crazy. I wanted to go get the um the covert act with the special forces. Because, yeah, the covert ops one. Yeah, that well, here was my cool thing. Good. I was gonna so go get well. that one. I wanted to go get that too, Z, But to be honest with you, I was thinking about it when I went and bought the turbo uh, edition one that came out for three sixty. That that um gray and black one. That's awesome. If you look at it that way, instead of me buying two or three other. Like the covert one, another one. I'm gonna be at 120, 130 plus tax around 150. I was like, let me just get this one and see if this is gonna be the one I like for the next. Plus, here's the thing: all these other ones, the covert, yeah, they fixed the buttons and did this and that with it, and that's great. The 30.5 millimeter jack, but it's still that lightweight. I like this one because it's heavy and it's got that grip on the back. It's got like, you know what I mean? Z? You get the big hands. I get the big hands. You you hold yeah. that. You gotta have that grip. You know what I'm saying? I, I miss that shit. You know, I don't want that hey, slick thing in the hey, back. I also, before we close out, too, I want to say shout out Jay Williams, the graphic god, because he's shout the out one to Jay that. Williams. He, he actually is the one that updates the store with all of our stuff and did all the designs. Um, this dude, Shiesty Gaming, just tweeted me. Jay Williams did his shirt designs, too. Uh, Shiesty Jesse, he tweeted yeah, me some. I retweeted Jesse, him. Yeah. Um, he, he did the, bite, the Bites of Chicken shirts for Gear Gauntlet as yeah. well. He's, mm -hmm. done, he's done a lot of logos for people in the community. He's not free. He's a legit graphics artist. He, but you tell him you heard him from Big Gamer Small Talk or whatever, and he'll get you a good deal on stuff. Um, you know what I mean? He does his work is second to none. I mean, we're happy. He he's a fan of the show, and he basically we look at it as a sponsorship where um, it's a symbiotic hey, you know, relationship. If he helps us, it could out. be anything, he, he man. They, you him. know, people come out with they uh, if they if some game developers listening, they want to promote that that game. That'd be mm -hmm. great. You know, it's a lot of yeah. talent out there that's into everything. You know, music, all that little stuff. Yeah, you know, we don't have to just promote just the shirts yeah. and whatever your talent and your skill is. You want us to promote it? Just the shooters. All right, all right. Um, I got a question here from Jay Money eighteen. Jay Money eighteen put, "Hey guys, what's up? What's scale bound? Did Microsoft delay it or what? Though is it coming out twenty fifteen? What game he say? Scale bound is going to be twenty sixteen. That's twenty. What's up, guys? Did Microsoft delay delay it or what? Or what though? Is it coming out twenty fifteen? No. Scale bound is twenty sixteen. They never gave it in that. They never gave it. It was never. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be sick though? They still if Scalebound still was to come out this year. I don't know if we yeah, want that though. Z. It's yeah. so crammed. I want to give it to me. Give me that. And like, now. It's like Show, <laughs> Showstopper gave the best example when he said that. Um, what was it there? New um, IPs. I don't do good. Got smothered yeah, around Christmas. Yeah, around Christmas time. Yeah. Um, I don't know, so it's an overdrive. Got smothered. I, I think that's why they. I think that's why they're gonna do Quantum Break and Recall in the year. quarter for one next year. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get Quantum Break around uh, January, February, March. Hey, you, know. you know what's interesting about Recall? I was reading up about it. The guy who created that, he's the guy who created Mega yeah, Man, um, Metroid Prime, Dead shit. Rising, Metroid Prime. Um, this mighty number no. nine that's come that's coming out. He's like he's he's got some quality work. So I mean I'm uh, I'm definitely nine, a retail game. It. Is that a retail game or down? I've seen some yes. box art for it. Mighty number no. nine is getting a full retail release. Oh, mighty nine. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's getting a full bucks? retail release. Yeah, thirty bucks. Uh, I'm not sure how much it is. There's a collector's edition coming out. It's being published by Deep Silver. Oh, so, uh, yeah, yeah it's going to get, get a get back thing. Crap. Um, get back to that ReCore thing real quick. The ReCore, that's a bold statement that's been going around that that game's coming out in the spring. That's, I mean, they just showed basically a CGI trailer 
I was expecting that to be a yeah. Well, apparently I, I read an article. Yeah, yeah, I read I read an article. It's already been in development for over 14 months. So okay, cool. you would be looking at it being in development for uh, just over around two years, two which for these new years. consoles and everything, I mean, two, yeah, two and a half, that's fine. You know what I mean? I mean, just I, I think that, that that'll be good for what they're trying to do. So, um, hey, King James says, are you guys excited for the new dashboard with Cortana? Yes. 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 I, saw yes. The, I saw the demo of that. Yes. What's that? <laughs> just What's say that? yes to him over yeah. and over, man. That thing is going to be unbelievable. The fact yeah. that we can do that in Cortana fact, shit. Did, woo. Yeah, and they they confirmed you need Connect for that. So all you yep. losers that were Already like, hey, I'm not going to get Connect because it's going to because it's going to spy on you. Just the Xbox fan base to all you losers. <laughs> hey, hey let, let's be honest. I probably I probably offended the Xbox users. I've offended everybody at one point or another. Yeah. I even offended Tim Dog at one point. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, if, if you don't if you don't yeah. like if you don't like Connect and you want to just stand behind your I don't need that shit for my that's fine. You know what? Then don't. But do me a favor. A lot of people on Twitter for the past couple of days once that that news got out that you needed Connect for Cortana. They've all been complaining. Can you make it so that through our headset plugged in, we can just talk to Cor Listen, man, it's it's a hundred. You will get one refurb for seventy five dollars, man. Like, go to GameStop, go buy one that's used, and go try it out, man. And try all these features out that come with it. Like, there's no reason to complain about something that's seventy five dollars that's on top of your TV that you use every damn day. There's no reason. I don't. Yeah. I, I just don't. Want, these are, we are all like quote unquote gamers. Everyone's throwing sixty dollars out the window every single month at games. Sometimes they're like, "Ah, eh, that was all right." You know what I mean? Like people are just throwing sixty dollars out for seventy five dollars. The shit turns it on, turns it off, gets the volume, does everything but scratches your balls. I don't understand why you wouldn't actually want this <laughs> device, man. I mean, it does everything. Now it's gonna actually take memos, set stuff up, tell me when showstoppers on, set up a game. It, you don't even got to pause it. It's a maze. It's a maze. Yeah. Only doesn't you got to get out of your game. You just got to just keep it pushing. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> hey, hey, Lace Chucks. Lace Chucks right. has a good one, too. He says, you think the sales of Connect will spike as soon as Cortana comes out? Yes. I think yeah. that there's going to be people That's that are going to regret not not buying that version. Um, how much maybe is it? They, 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 I think it's 450 no, how much? No, how much did the Connect? One the Connect's one hundred and fifty. Oh, okay. Just buy a brand new. It's seventy no, no, five dollars on refurb. Honestly, I don't know what they're taking as far as hit, as far as hardware sale. I think they should make the Connect a hundred bucks. Yeah, make yeah. it a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? I don't know what they're losing off it from there, but they make it one twenty five or whatever from. And like yeah. with the with the Katrina, they got to show people. They got to have that thing up in GameStop, running. You know what I mean? Where they can actually yeah, get people you know, all best buy. Uh, Target, they got to see it actually, you know, running and working. You know what I mean? So they got to put the Microsoft reps inside the stores. You know what I mean? I'm, you know what I mean? And have them there working side by side with that thing, and people will buy it. Pick it right. People will pick it up. That's how they got to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Absolutely, get, I think. Uh, uh, tadpole, you know, honest question today, Tadpole. Tadpole, shout out to Tadpole. Tadpole bought a shirt too. We'll let you guys know. You know the guy who's come here. Uh, he we calls him. <laughs> you know what I'm about, that guy. He said yeah, he was going to hit your house with a bag full of shit. Yeah, him. He bought a t-shirt from us. Shout out to Tadpole. Oh, did uh, he? Oh, yeah. He bought a shirt. Do you think at Gamescom, Microsoft should announce that September's game for gold should be Halo, Master Chief Collection, Tomb Raider, Definitive Edition, and Forza 5 so they can get their install base locked and loaded in for the crazy holiday to the approaching? Let me read that question again. I think... Uh, do you yeah. think at Gamescom, Microsoft should announce that September's Games for Gold should be Halo, Master Chief Collection, Tour Rated the Definitive Edition, and Forza 5 so they can get their install base locked and loaded for the crazy holiday approach? approach. That makes a lot of sense, Tadpole, actually, because remember what they did before they announced, or before Dead Rising came out on the Xbox One, they released Dead Rising 2 as Games for Gold on 360, right? Mm -hmm. Um it makes that makes sense to me because look, you're gonna get the the third Forza game already, so why not make the first one a free game? Definitive Edition Tomb Raider, they've already sold that game for ten bucks. Why not make it available? You know what I'm saying? That makes sense to me. Good, good, good idea, and that's smart if they do do that because it's gonna get people hyped for the next one. Those are all great games. Yeah. All right, Tampa. Is he Tampa? That's the kind of that's the stuff you guys. The kind of questions you're gonna ask, Tampa. Not yeah, yeah. Easy. Say questions like that. Avoid saying stuff. Oh, this, hey, I'm gonna this heavy play. breathing. I'm gonna go yes. by your house. I'm gonna go yeah. by your house that's, and throw a bag of dog I'm a kitty cat. Listen, I have a question for you guys. Think about it now. Think about this right here. I gotta say this. 
we can do a few more questions. We do three more questions. Now with the games for gold every month, they should let the Xbox One owner also download those games yeah. digitally. That would be kick ass. So if we get the games for the Xbox One and the games for the 360. Can you imagine that? Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying digitally? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know, they're they going to give us that pool, that shitty pool fucking again. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> let, let, you know, let the Xbox One owners also download those games that they're giving out for the 360. That would be nice. Now, I would download some of those again, just, you know, if I didn't have them. Or, or, you know what I mean? I think that would be, but if they get up whole motherfucking time, I'm going to wreck me my, my damn self, not going to go up on somebody in the fucking eye. Like, God damn, kill it with the fucking pool shit. Every fucking month, pool, 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 pool. Um... Gamer Zone 720. He said, since Tomb Raider and Fallout 4 are coming out the same day, uh, oh, I reread that one already. Uh, okay, five 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 one fifty five one fifty Turk. Do you guys know how DLC content is going to work? You read that already? We're back with no, compatibility. No. If, I have, if I have Mass Effect saves, won't work without it. I, I know not even a week old, but what, what, what I would like to know. So he's saying if how is back they're with the to, with the DLC? Well, it's gonna they're just gonna have to probably add it in. Um, the same thing with multiple discs. They're having trouble with that right now, but I'm sure they'll they'll figure it out. You know, because like Lost Odyssey, they can't do, and some of the other that takes more than one disc. Um, you know what I mean? So I think that they're gonna have to figure out a workaround. We're in the beta stage. This isn't actually releasing for like five months to everybody. So well, they got plenty of time to figure it out. So I'm sure I'm sure they will. You know what I mean? Okay, uh, we can do three three months last with me. I can tell about you guys next week. Oh, I can't pronounce. It. Okay, then twenty two. Okay, big game with small talk. Do, do your do your beta stats carry over in Gears of War Ultimate? Your stats don't carry over, but you can unlock stuff that you can um, that does carry over, like characters and weapon skins and stuff like that. Yo, I'm glad the KD doesn't carry over. I'm getting my ass yeah. kicked. You know what? Yeah, yeah. The the one thing that I was disappointed about that beta was you can't do parties. It's like you just gotta play alone. It's it sucks. Like I got a crew and we're all like, hey, let's hop on and play together. And it's like, oh, that's disabled. It's like they want you to go in there and get your ass kicked. You know what I mean? It's like, ugh. All um, right, we got here from. Thing. um... Uh, uh, I just had shout out to Live Wires Animation. He's always got dope, dope questions. He's here every week. Live Wire Animation. It's time to stop with the BS and really put PS4 feet to the fire. What do you guys think about that? Um, I think so. I mean, you know what? I think that they're doing it Phil Spencer's way, and he's like a humble guy. So you just got to kind of like um, they're not going to do it with that Don mattress. It bring that. Well, he did, he did take a shot. We don't believe in making you paying twice for your game, so that was a good mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we can end it with this question right here from J Money eighteen. Shut up, J Money eighteen. Has some really good questions tonight. What Xbox is cool? Do you think will sell the most this holiday season? Halo Five. Halo Five. You think Halo Five is going to beat out motherfucking uh? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna beat Tomb yeah, Raider. It's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be Halo Tomb Raider. Gone. Halo gone. Gonna sweep yeah, it. It's gonna, see Daddy about to play Halo. Yeah, Daddy about to play some Halo. You see the picture Daddy floating Ball. around with uh, they got Yoshida doing that, saying that. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, you know what? Like I thought, Hololens looked really cool. Everybody that I've seen Hololens on looks like a badass. Yoshida was wearing it. I was like, God damn, man. Now, why is he always fucking squinting though? God I damn. Just, I think that's just because he's Asian. I don't know. Nah, and I haven't seen some. I haven't seen some of the motherfuckers with their with their. Uh, Eyes open. That motherfucker is always squinting. Yeah. Well, he was bored, man. He's like, man, Sony's got shit. I'm going to go check out the Microsoft stuff. You know what I mean? And I don't blame him, right? But did you see, like, Warrior Wart on his Twitter pe- account has that picture of Aaron Greenberg with his hands around Adam Boy's neck. I love it. Because oh. I think I think he has it because he, he's trying to show that everybody can go exist. I like it because the little in-joke that... Yeah, because, I, you know what, it's, it's us. Fucking, not, yeah, not us. It's the fanboys that get caught up in the bullshit. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, okay, like, Aaron Greenberg tweeted this picture where he's, like, acting like he's choking Adam Boyd from Sony. Um, I tweeted, finish him. I was like, finish him, Aaron, right? Um, and Aaron Greenberg fucking, he favorited it. I mean, he didn't retweet it, but he favorited it. You know what I mean? He yeah. gets the joke. So I thought that was funny, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but, like, but, you know, they, I, I, it's, you know what's crazy? And uh, and and that that these people don't hate each other, you know, whether it's Microsoft or Sony, even though they're in competition. It's the weirdos that get caught up in the bullshit and the hype and, Oh, uh, you know, but the Sony and nothing was. Well, I don't really hear from the, the Xbox fan base as much. 
but you know we can all you know you know they can all coexist and be both successful consoles. It's the weirdos that come up with the bullshit. Like prime example, when I tell you guys when I do my live shows, you know, and I have a lot of Sony dudes in there. We can all agree to disagree, but we don't have to be mm-hmm. disrespectful. We're here to have fun and talk. You know what I mean? So with the bullshit. But with that being said, that's the last question. I promise us. I just seen it. Are we going to end the show with this right here? ATL Prince eighty five. Shout out to you. What do you guys think about people saying the Xbox One is useless now because games like Gears of War Ultimate Edition and KI are coming to PC? Uh, Gears of War One was always on PC. I don't really. <laughs> KI. You know what? I ain't gonna start with the PC stuff, but. It is a, a valid question that people are now saying. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. I'm gonna I'm, I'm answer it for you. Fucking. Not everyone. Not everyone has a gaming rig. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't. Not everyone plays on PC. Not everyone plans to play on PC. Just because no. you hear it on Twitter and you see the YouTube people, that is such a minority. Yeah. And, and, and here, here's the reason also, like another thing, right? I think a lot of people have take issue when people say that just because they say that, right? I mean, for the most part, like that does, like they said the same thing for Titanfall and the Xbox One still was the yeah. best selling. You know what I'm saying? Right, it's right. like, for you know what I mean? Look, it's just, it's just, it's part of, it is, you know what I mean? It's, it's something that people are going to have to deal with. You're going to have to put up with, like, because it, it gives PC elitists and PS4 fanboys ammo, and so people are just going to have to, like, say, okay, well, big fucking deal at the end of the day because this is actually, you know what I'm saying, hopefully let allows Microsoft to make more money off some of this stuff. You know, if, if putting Killer Instinct on PC gets a season three and four, then I'm fine with it. You know what I'm saying? There, there, there isn't, there aren't seven thousand Game Stops, Walmart, Target, Toys R Us with humongous like forty-five to seventy-five foot aisles of games in there because there's so many PC players. There's people buying a lot of console shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Don't, also, don't pay no attention to none of that. All it is is that now with social media, there's one little dorky guy who weighs like six pounds soaking wet. <laughs> <and there's laughs> And he just keeps hitting da 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 PC 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 send PC PC in, and, you know you read it every day and eventually your brain starts to say wow maybe there's some shit but really it's just a scene. It's not. Dude, yeah, man, I, and I must say this. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. PC you know is mean? just PC a, would never be mainstream. Even a third. PC it's not. would never be mainstream. Yeah. Uh, and the reason you know I mean and I'm not I'm just being honest. You, you can't go by. This is the vocal minority here on YouTube and on the internet. That's right. A lot of people don't want to game on a upgrade. Hey, and hey, next gen, I could say from this point of view too, as someone um, like say Street Fighter Five, that's on PC as well. But would I ever play it on PC? Hell, fucking no. no. You know what I'm saying? I'm a console dude, and I think that like when when you think of it logically like that, like that Shenmue thing, it's PC, PS4. Would I play it on PC? Hell no. I'm a console gamer, and that and so there you go. You know what I'm saying? But as an Xbox guy, I'm not gonna say, hey, well that what does that mean? What's the point in buying a PS4? Because if you're a console gamer, you're You're gonna play on console. Yeah, exactly. Even better. It's so relevant to bring up that as an argument. PlayStation too useless because Sony has Sony Online Entertainment. Was the PS3 useless because they had Sony Online Entertainment? That was right. with PC, 95, you know So just no, PC, Microsoft, again, let me say this one more time. Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo are not in competition with PC. They're in competition with consoles. It's like the parent, I want just to add, you know what I mean? I understand you can't play games on your PC, but the mass so my grandma doesn't want to <laughs> play games on the PC. They she, want to she's, play a, games. she's a demon at, at my yeah, it's the simplicity, <laughs> and this comes from someone that with this. You know what? It's the simplicity of consoles. Now everyone want to go snatching a foul from this brush and sight air to patch this game to make this work. I'm not over exaggerating. This is how you can buy a goddamn game from Steam. The bitch won't even boot up. You know what I mean? Imagine you're going to buy a game from GameStop and you put the game inside your Xbox One and it's not working. You're going to be pissed off, and it happens a lot with PC. It does happen. It happened to me several times from Steam sales. So. That's why, to me, like I said, people PC is never going to be. Hey, hey, Shiesty well. Gaming says a good point here on Twitter. It says you should ask the same PlayStation guys why his Samsung TV plays PlayStation exclusives. That's a good question. I is mean, it, that, exactly. You know, it, it, you know what? Good point. That is a great you fucking play point. PlayStation now. What do you you can play on it. Does that make the it prompt, even on my Sony TV? I have access to PlayStation now. Does that mm-hmm. make the PS3 or the PS4? You know what I mean? Um, useless. I mean, do you think they're not going to put PS4 games on there eventually? Of course they are. 
Yeah, you know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, exactly. hey, uh, next gen, they had a, uh, I had a question about a shirt, like if they didn't want the picture. Oh, I read it. But you, they... can put, you can put the print on the front or in the back. I don't know about the sleeve. The logo was too big for the sleeve, but you can go on the front. Oh, okay, you can't oh, shorten it to put it like on the side of your chest, like on one side. The fuck it, when he got a, a breast, he had a breast, uh, he got a, missing a breast. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, listen, I'm just making sure it's this. Well, can you put it at the bottom of the shirt? No, you can either go on the front or the back. You can put the logo on the back or you can put the logo on the front. There that's you go. You know, that's, all, that's all. It's not Holy that shit. Long. They got like 39,000 votes to bring Red Dead Redemption backwards compatibility to the Xbox One. Well, it's, up, it's, 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 up, it's up to Rockstar. Yeah, right. bring it. That's Right. See, let see what it is. Rockstar wants to remaster that and sell it to us again. I bet you. So. Well, even so, I mean, like yeah. even so, right? Like, um, you know, like EA allowed Mass Effect One and will probably allow the other ones, and they might still do a remaster of those. So I don't think that that stops people from getting a remaster. But if yeah. you already have the games, uh, I don't see why you couldn't do that. But anyway, it would have sales if you already have it twice. I mean, I already got it's it. Okay. it. Look, uh, Borderlands is able on there, and they had the and they just released the Handsome Collection. So. Yeah. Well, all right, well, but but on that note, with being said, um, thank you guys for tuning in. We have a 200 some odd people today. We appreciate it. Um, and as I always say, bang, bang. Uh-huh. It's in your, your hands. hands. Gundam style. Hey, hold on. Oh, shoot. Cut off. We, we they just put out a... Uh, put out a what? They just put out an article saying now Sony admits to partner with Shamu that Kickstarter is a yeah. big problem. Yeah. Kickstarter is a big problem? It's a big problem, yeah. What do you mean well, it's a big problem? It's a big problem that they put that, that they uh that they are a part of that, that they're actually funding the game and they're 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 using Kickstarter. It's, it's using actually Kickstarter. it's actually abusing that's the, the whole program. problem that we sit here and have. Yeah, yeah. they're abusing it. And oh, yeah. oh, you know, let they admit so what they should do, and be and, and, and if Tony does this, what they should do is give those people back their money. Their they're money. Not, That's they're, it. They're not giving people back. They're not going to give them back their money. Uh-huh. They they got away with it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're still, still on air, man. Let's get off. Okay, but anyway, we'll um, see y'all. We'll see it. They say, "Damn, please, please, no, it's getting good." No, <laughs> 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 about to bring out some kind of race eater comment. <laughs> hey man, you know what they was going? You know all them dudes that was sitting here like, you gotta get your game free. <laughs> that was hit me in the comments and hey, stuff yo, like that. Let me let me, hey. let me, let me, let me, let me <laughs> start with his right leg. <laughs> but no, we'll catch you guys next week, man. Thank you guys for love. And listen, go by, click the link, grab a T-shirt. Buy one for your grandma. Tell the next gym board for if I can get the panties, bitch. Be out of here. <laughs> bang, bang. Rack them. Peace.